Oh, ladies and gentlemen, apologies. Apologies, apologies. But um, welcome back, I would say. I know we tried to uh, run our own show. Who you pressing? What are you doing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, apologies about that. Um, it, it is what it is. Uh, appreciate people in the chat trying to help. Uh, myself and Andy have extensive audio backgrounds, um, so the issue was uh, was definitely a difficult one if it took us 20 minutes to fix. But we're here. It's fixed, of course. We are live. There's something special. Touching down Sun Express special livery to celebrate. Oh, it's taking off. There we go. If I can have a nudge on my feed as well, Andy, that'd be perfect. Just a little one. Perfect. Yep. Cheers, mate. Yes, ladies and gents, welcome to the Airliners Live 2022 annual charity fundraiser. What you just seen there was a Sun Express um, Entracht Frankfurt special livery. Looking beautiful here. Let us know how we're coming through on the old feed there as well. Yes. Um, we got Matt up on the camera. Does Matt have our audio? Did we get Matt yes, back on audio? Yeah, okay, yeah he's good. Perfect. Um, thank you for your patience, folks. Um, as I say, these things happen. We know how to fix it. It just takes a while sometimes to identify whereabouts in the hut the gremlin is hiding. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, the issue was the ground loop. As you could hear, the the buzzing, uh, the buzzing and the uh, high pitch noise was was a ground loop uh, somewhere in the tower. Um, we've not found it we've just had to dodge it so we know how to fix it next time yep. and uh, let's get on with the fundraising shall we folks um, I was going to say enough of that on to the fundraiser so today ladies and gents is the big annual 2022 charity fundraiser show this is the ultimate show of the week all week we've been raising funds for the Christie which is a cancer support and cancer research organization, charity organization, um, based here in Manchester. And we're raising funds on behalf of our good friend, our late friend, uh, Peter Hampson, who was um, instrumental in uh, many of the aspects of Airliners Live, including the exact location that we're streaming from today, up in the um, control tower here at the RVP. And as you can see on the progress, the full Airliners Live community has got behind this fundraiser this year. A massive thank you to all of you. Uh, the current total is £7,458.16. But we can do better than that, can't we, folks? Let's keep smashing the fundraising today. Mods will have uh, fundraising links in the chat for you to get involved with, guys. Um, and, um, yes... Uh, We'd uh, definitely recommend. So is it? We'd definitely recommend that you guys are uh, getting involved in the fundraiser because there's tons of great prizes to win. And welcome to Manchester Airport. Of course, this is Airliners Live. We're just catching the arrival of a 2787-9 Dreamliner coming in rather late today. Meant to arrive at 8 a.m. this morning here at Manchester Airport. Vacating 23 right. It's coming from Melbourne. Uh, over in Florida not to be confused from Melbourne UK <laughs> or Melbourne Florida or wherever other Melbournes are in the world Australia yes uh, sorry yeah Australia Melbourne. I was actually I was going to say when I was um, driving back from East Midlands um, the other day because I was over there doing a bit of filming yeah for some reason it, did, it didn't route me on the main roads it routed me on a lot of side roads and things and I actually ended up driving through Melbourne UK there you go. <laughs> and, and they had the Melbourne Street Festival at the time as well so I was like hey so this is where Tui are flying to <laughs> but yeah sorry not, not Melbourne Australia is what I meant to say um Cambridgeshire is the other one. Yeah, it was definitely there was definitely one over in um, what area, what area part of the world is uh, East Midlands? Did you call it Derbyshire? I think it's Derbyshire, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna Google it actually. Give it a Google, mate. Give it a Melbourne, Google. UK. Right, we're just uh, quickly just getting settled, folks. Give us a couple of minutes, and the show will settle down. I'm uh, moving things around. We actually ended up 
shifting the audio setup from one side of the tower all the way over yeah, to the other. We did a lot. We were legging it up and down for the last Honestly, half an hour. Well, we've done about three laps around the airport. I it? am sweating my head off at the moment. Like I am not even. It's it's not a nice feeling. I did put a lot of the ocean. Yeah, it was South Derbyshire. Yeah. It was the home of Thomas Cook, believe it or not. Hey, that's a fact. Melbourne, UK is where Thomas Cook originated. Okay, let's just make sure. We've got a slot, so. Uh, that's not okay. Okay. Isn't he a main last It might be, yeah. Uh, yeah, a real wobbly arrival there, ladies and gents, as you may have seen. There's a quite a strong crosswind here in Manchester today. Okay. Let's have a look at the Messar information. About an eight knot direct crosswind from 150 um, degrees compass. Um, but that is a, a pretty consistent crosswind as well. The windsock is almost at full whack. That is four. So why is the key taking a few? Luma key. Chroma key, there you go, that's a problem. Yeah. And if you look at that 737 actually as well, uh, when it taxis past in a moment, you'll see that it's um, a little bit longer than most 73s, it's because it's a Dash 900 uh, series aircraft. Right, who's in the chat then? Let's get some hellos in the chat. We'll read out some names as well before we get started with the, the charity fundraising portion, which is going to go through the right through today's show. We've actually turned off Super Chats as well, as have we have uh, for all the shows this week. Um, and uh, the reason for that is we want to direct you guys over to the fundraiser instead. Don't give us any money today. Give it to the charity fundraiser. Yeah, please, guys. Really important to raise as much money as we possibly can today. My buttons now seem to be working, which is what we want. So if I run that, overlay should come back. Yes, it does. Good. And there goes the smart links. A321. Heading off to Heraklion, which is in the... Um, uh, Greek island of Crete Matt Smith doing a great job up on the camera yeah big massive shout out to Matt unfortunately we uh, can't hear Matt today um, just due to the fact that um, we may have a guest coming in to the tower in a little while um, so that microphone is uh, being used but uh, yeah do not forget as my dad is saying in the chat guys that um, it is really really important that you use that gift aid folks um, so what you need to do is when you're making your donation if you're based in the UK it will say are you a UK taxpayer you click yes and then you click do you want to include gift aid click yes uh, and that will mean we get an extra 25% on top of our uh, donations guys just real quick reading out some super chats and things we had Kevin D with the Megabong super chat dropping 10 gifted airliners live memberships as well as Joseph Williamson with a uh, premium economy membership Paul Gardner with a 16 months of premium economy and Jake Danson with a 7 months of premium economy cheers everyone but um, yeah appreciate it. and Kevin thank you for the huge uh, gift bomb 10 <laughs> yeah while we were flying around Kevin thank you very much for uh, looking after that um, we have had some donations coming in but we'll uh, check out this Star Alliance uh, Canada for a second we've had yeah since going live we've had a fair few already Ooh, look at this. What do you think of this, ladies and gents? The Star Alliance special on the Air Canada A330-300 today. Coming in from Toronto. Almost made the uh, rapid exit taxiway, or sorry, the, the exit in general ahead of us. Um, sadly, just missing it. We thought we'd treat you guys though, we have a completely different setup today uh, compared to usual. Uh, we're going to stick to the uh, midweek shows being the multicam setup um, and we're going to evaluate the, the weekends because <laughs> that today was a, a big setup. We started setting up at like nine. I'll be honest, if, if we had anyone in the audio, guys will know what I'm about to say. If we had a DI box here, yeah. that whole issue would have been because we could have just lifted the ground and it would have been fine. Yeah. 
that that would have just like we and we've got two at the unit. Yep. So we can do that. But today we have this camera down here. Hello, hello, hello. There's one. Then we have this camera over here as well. And then of course we have Maddie Boy Smith on the big cam upstairs and all the audio to go with it as well. Um, but we have got a lot of donations to get through today, which we will do as soon as this Star Alliance has uh, passed straight past us here. Yeah. A lot of screens on the go here. We've got radars, we've got the, the control for the multicam, we've got chats, we've got the audio, we've got splitters, we've got cameras and wires for absolute days. Yeah, there's more wires in here <laughs> than on some of our festival stages we used to build. Cam and Martin Cam, basically, yeah. Yeah, because we're going to have guests in today. We needed to be able to have both sides. And we even have roles today. I'm the audio guy and Martin's the video guy. So he's got the uh, the switcher and all the overlays at his disposal. And I've got the audio and the bing bong button as well. <laughs> you do. <laughs> high, high responsibilities right now. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot that goes into these shows. Um, and uh, just to remind maybe the couple of you in the chat that weren't so positive while we were fixing that we do our best a lot goes into it guys to make the shows the very best that they possibly can be um, and obviously things like the charity show like today we have to go all out guys we have to do our very best so talking of charity let's uh, read some names out shall we of the people who have donated um, today so, um, first, we have uh, Robert Johns, um, who donated uh, 10 hours ago. So thank you very much, dude. Really appreciate that. Uh, if I just put that there, there we go. Um, do -do 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 -do. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's something very, sh there's something crossed over here. Uh, Robert John, thank you so much for your donation, mate. Saying a good choice for our annual charity fundraiser. Thanks to all the airliners live community for their generosity. Thank you very much, Robert. Lee Davies going in with a thirty pound donation, saying great work, everyone. Let's keep going. Thank you very much, Lee. Steve Thorpe, thank you very much for your donation. Tony Parkinson sliding in uh, with a very generous donation. Thank you very much, Tony P. Um, Beastie Lucy fan, uh, otherwise known as Sam, saying great cause. Christie's do amazing work. They really do, mate. They really, really do. Thank you. Um, Graham Russell with a forty pounds uh, donation going for all of the for all of those who work and keep our friends and relatives safe and secure. Thank you for doing a wonderful job. Cheers, Graham. And then a massive donation coming in from Robert Brailsford saying hoping for a good show and that you raise loads of money. Have fun everyone, Robert from Radstock in Somerset. Thank you very much, Robert. Really appreciate your uh, very generous donation, mate. An anonymous donation coming in as well. Thank you very much. And Mike Davies also sending in a £10 donation. Thank you very much, Mike. Um, Thank you, Mike. Like, thank page. you everyone that's huge like so many donations already um, and after just giving it a very quick refresh um, Howard R with a uh, anonymous donation thank you very much Howard uh, Jorg with the 20 euro donation thank you very much Jorg um, and Kevin D with another 150 pound donation oh saying, my gosh gifty for a great charity day let's get to 10k says Kevin D in the chat uh, with a £150 donation. Kevin, you've already donated so much to the charity show. Thank you so much, mate. Really appreciate it. We've now hit 7,700. It's quite, a, quite an iconic number for uh, 7,700 of it. For uh, Aviation World, isn't it? Anyone, it in is. the, anyone in the chat know why? Yes, thank you. And as you may, if you've just tuned into the fundraiser, you've not been tuning in in a week, have a look. We've already hit 100%. And we did that on. Wednesday we did when we had um, our good friend Captain Mark on this show um, who's a, an Airbus uh, captain 
who joined us on that show. Great show that was. Really, really good show. It was like full of laughs. It was full of just really good info from him as well. And um, we obviously hit our charity fundraiser goal on that show right near the end as well. Just before the A380 arrived. It was just such a lovely end to the show. You guys all really enjoyed that as well. Um, if you've not watched that show, I'd highly recommend going back and watching it. It was on uh, Wednesday, um, the Airliners Live Manchester show. You can watch it back on our YouTube or our Twitch. Um, Captain Mark was fantastic, wasn't he? He did, did a fantastic Oh, job. it was really good. It was great to have him on. So many um, positive comments about Mark being on the show. Yeah. Um, so massive thanks to him for, for joining us today. Um, he's a huge fan of the channel. He, he's always messaging us, sending us photos. And if you look at our Facebook as well, we uploaded this to our Facebook page. Um, he, we gave him a coaster as a present for uh, for uh, coming down and, and joining on the stream. And then he went off and uh, used it in the flight deck on his uh, little little uh, tray you table. Did. There we go, the Yeti had um, Dreamliner now lining up. It is a 787. Uh, it's a Dash 10 Dreamliner today, actually. The, the reg on it, Alpha 6 BMI. Is it a baby? Is it? Or is it the uh, the BMI that uh, you get a bit conscious over? <laughs> She's heading back to Abu Dhabi, to flight 16. It is windy today, ladies and gents, hence all the noise. Yes, uh, and I'm just fixing a few things in the background as well, folks, so just bear with me while you're seeing a few things popping up on the screen. Awesome noise. Aiden uh, in the chat saying, Captain Mark was great. Please get more pilots in as guests. Fascinating insight into aviation. Certainly, well, um, we'll definitely have him back on for a start. And I think, yeah, maybe more other guests I think not just pilots but also just like the odd you know obviously we're very close to the aviation society we have some really knowledgeable uh, guys and girls who do um, who have a lot of you know extensive background in, in yeah. the aviation industry um, definitely we need more of that um, so a message which has come in in the chat which I, I want to clear this up guys oh yeah. so this started off as John Fezzer's idea by oh, the yeah. way says, are you shaving your heads if you get to 10K? Now, I want to be totally transparent what I agreed to here, right? Because I think this has been Chinese whispers of it. I said I'll either do a number three or a number two all over. That's what I said. Okay. I don't know what number that, well, you said well, you would do. I don't know. I didn't say it. I just but I, just, I think what people think we're going to be doing is literally just going full bald, mm. which is not going to happen, guys. So please do not donate thousands of pounds towards me and Andy going full bald because that is not going to happen. I'm but just going to be serious with I, you. I will say, though, a two all over for me looks like I'm bald. <laughs> like, Does it? Yeah, I had it. I'm sure in lockdown, because we spoke about this on the last stream, in lockdown, I think I did a number three all over and I really liked it. Yeah. So I'm cool with that. I still, I still look like a tennis ball, like if I've shaved my head. That's what I mean. Looks, Anything less look. than that, it's a bit... Da I don't know what number John's going for. But, um, yeah, I just want to be totally clear with you guys what we've actually agreed to. Um, what John Fezzer does is entirely up to John. What me and Andy do, we're being honest. But That's what we're doing. If we do it, though, I do want John Fezzer to be here. And we've been discussing a... Because, um, obviously, we've got 100,000 coming up on the horizon. And we've been discussing with Feather, Fezzer maybe, like, a, uh, a meet-up for that. You know, uh, just maybe, like, the team. Yeah. And we can have a little celebration. Uh, and I think then would be a good time to do that. So, yeah, um, yeah. I guess uh, see how things progress. I don't know when we're going to hit that. I don't think it's going to be long at all. Literally a, f a few weeks, I reckon. Yeah, so Fez is going to go for a number two as well or something. Like that. Yeah, so if Fez, Fez is going for a number two, then, um, then yeah, that's kind of a number two or a number three. I think is acceptable. I usually get a naught on the back and sides, me, but it's the top. Like I just, yeah. If I shave the top, it looks horrendous in my case. So yeah. 
it's still going to look awful, guys. <laughs> but anyway, look, we will we will do something if we hit 10k, guys. We will do that. Um, so if you want to uh, if you want to donate towards the charity fundraiser today, we will do something along those lines when we hit 10k. But listen, you got to be upfront and honest when money's involved, and I ain't doing a zero all over, guys. As much as I want to raise 10 grand for charity. I, yeah. ain't, I, I ain't doing it. Yeah, and we are fast approaching 8,000 already. I, th- I can't remember what we exactly started the show on. Maybe all, any of the mods might know. But if um, if you can afford to donate to the charity show today, guys, then uh, please go ahead and uh, drop a donation, as many of you are doing already. Links are in the chat. Um, now, for those of you who don't know uh, what we're raising money for today, guys, we are raising money for the Christie, uh, which is a fantastic um, cancer charity here in the UK. And uh, what they do is they do a lot of research and they also provide a really good hospice for people and aftercare for people as well. My mum's had treatment in the Christie when she was going through breast cancer. Um, and I know a lot of community members, um, including uh, someone who we were really fortunate to meet, Glenn, um, before he sadly passed away, had some excellent treatment at the Christie, according to his family. Um, and uh, they look after people really well. And as we say, they um, they provide a lot more than just looking after people, guys. They put a lot of money into research, which is really, really important. So the reason we've chose the Christie this year is that, unfortunately, we lost a very good friend of ours, Peter Hampson, this year. He was the chairman of the Aviation Society. He was involved in getting this tower here so that we can stream for you guys from this location. And when the tower was put in, he approached Airliners Live and said, look, guys, what will make your lives easier to stream from here? Um, and before we'd even come up with an idea, because he said, one idea I've had, Peter said, was that we'll put a hatch in the roof for you guys to film out the top of, which was perfect. So he'd already thought about it. And um, as and as soon as the thing arrived, it had already had it in there. He asked us to come down on the day that it arrived. And, and he was just always thinking about the channel, always thinking about how Airliners Live could get involved in things at the RVP. And... Um, 100% guys, Airliners Live would not be uh, bringing you this view and this in-depth stream if it wasn't for, for Peter and his involvement in the channel. Uh, Peter, of course, got us involved in um, a stream in the Concord back in the very early days uh, when Charlie was still involved. Some of you, your OG viewers, may remember that stream. It was a very similar setup. We had a multicam set up. Back then, Andy was behind the scenes running all of the production for us. Um, so yeah, it has a lot of history. Yeah, and, it was 2019, uh, that wasn't it? It was, and yeah. uh, the main reason we're trying to push for 10 grand, ladies and gents, is because if we can hit 10 grand on the airliners live show today, and um, we pair that with what Sophie Peter's daughter has already raised, um, then we will be able to get a um, a permanent mem- memorial for Peter at the Christie. Um, and um, that'll be absolutely fantastic if he gets a permanent memorial there guys so dig deep if you can I know there's a cost of living thing going on we're all trying to save money do not donate more than you can afford guys Um, if you can afford to put a bit in the pot follow the links in the chat that Nightbot are posting now and if you can't afford to donate guys that's absolutely fine all we ask is that you get involved in the chat when we read some names out you put some airliners live love arts in getting involved thanking people for donating and that is more than enough folks so do not do not panic if you cannot afford to donate yeah thank you all loads of donations so far I'll let, uh, I'll let you catch up on those if you want yeah, I can't remember what you got up to. to I honest. think I got up to Kevin D's 150 last time. Yes, you did, yeah. Correct. But uh, a bit of a break in the traffic as well, so a perfect time to read some uh, oh donations. Gosh, wait, oh. Where is There it is. Okay, a lot's come in in the last 10 minutes. We'll go through them all. And uh, and there's tons of prizes to win as well, I forgot to we've say. We've not even folks. mentioned the prizes we yet. We have not. A lot of you guys probably don't even know. Um, so obviously I see a lot of people doing it anyway but if you do want to be in, in for a chance of winning a prize uh, it's all the information is on the fundraiser page you can see like the rules and things but basically in a nutshell make sure um, to get into the £10 and over prize bracket you need to obviously donate £10 and over um, you have to do it in at least one donation so um, if you do a five and a five it won't count 
and that's just an administrative uh, administrative uh, barrier we have um, and also um, make sure you put your name as well some way we can identify you if it's like if you use a username on Twitch or YouTube feel free to use that just yeah. a way we can identify you we do get your email address through um, so if you want to um, put your actual email address or whatever um, uh, on there so we can contact you that'd be amazing as well because um, we get that email address so obviously if we need to contact you we can use that so I got a lot of donations coming in the last 10 minutes on the old fundraiser we got Nicholas Bounds with a £10 super chat saying keep up the great work Les Bowring Bo- Bo- with a £20 saying doing a great job thank you Les uh, Paul Brooks with a £50 Paul that's huge saying saving my uh, 20p coins for this couldn't have uh, a better cause and I'm proud uh, to be part of the wonderful community that is Airliners Live and uh, to be able to honour in Peter's memory in this way appreciate it Paul um, Angela Hodkinson with a £10 um, donation as well saying an extra donation as I've uh, had uh, some overtime this week well thank you Angela that's very kind of that yeah, thank you very much um, Jane uh, Chu good uh, channel friend with a £10 thank you Jane saying fantastic charity Carwin Davies with a two Australian dollars I thought it was using New Zealand it says A on the thing donating two New Zealand dollars uh, to you guys We're saying Australian dollars but mistake oh okay there we go um, it was my birthday four days ago and it went well donating to charity as uh, as New Zealand uh, dollars are not available cheers Carwin appreciate how you had a good birthday uh, Jeff uh, Pug or Pug, I think you pronounce it. Yeah, Pug. That's Pew it. Pug or Pew? Pew, maybe. I think. Yeah, I'd say Pew. Pug. Pug. <laughs> you gave it a good go. Yeah. Um, with a t- with a hundred Australian dollars. Well, um, hoping so to hear uh, uh, Sophie got t- uh, to hang Peter's leaf. Um, to all at AL, you do a good thing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Sarah Crosby with the ten pounds saying guys uh, whilst I'm not local to the Christie at all I'm always happy to support a good cause well done on smashing your target and here's the many more donations during the show today thank you sir an anonymous with £30 thank you whoever that is Wayne C saying a small top up £20 from Wayne C Uh, Nigel Bailey with a £10 saying great charity and great channel Nathan 9 with a £30 thank you Nathan appreciate it Rika with a uh, 10 pounds or 10 euros should I say saying a gift because you guys managed to make uh, my stream look great again uh, a-, a little help towards your goal you guys are doing a great job thank you Rika and Cassie Dabs the last one of the list to read out now with a 10 pounds donation to the fundraiser saying fantastic charity very close to my heart treated my hobby seven years ago I well, hope he got the best treatment I'm sure he did over at the Christie uh, and we're £10 from Cassie there thank you so much Cassie appreciate Amazing. it Amazing. thank you so much everyone um, we're just going to get a couple of things sorted in the background guys so just bear with us I'll 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 stay with us okay Ryanair 737 800 off to Gothenburg Echo India Echo Mike Bravo on the registration of that aircraft not too long of a flight only 559 nautical miles over to Gothenburg in Sweden quite a popular route actually and look who's in the chat ladies and gents one I've not seen for a little while I know you took a little time out I hope you're well dude Chester Mike in the chat good to see you back dude I hope everything's good um, and I appreciate uh, getting straight in there with the the flight information as well. Uh, Mike Dean said, "How do I donate?" Mike Dean, the donation link is in the description of the YouTube stream, as well as the moderators. Uh, anyone with a little uh, spanner next to their name in blue, they're putting the links as well, uh, and Nightbot occasionally as well. And um, you donate it on Just Giving is the website. And if you are donating and you're a UK uh, resident, make sure you hit the uh, the gift aid button as well. That really helps out a lot. Adds a little uh, 25% extra on top of that. 
And if you want to be entered into the prize uh, draw, make sure you donate to £10 or over. Make sure you put your real name on there as well. And ladies and gents, we've hit a milestone already. Bing, 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 bong. £8,000 has been raised total so far. We've just passed the 8,000 mark. We're now at 8,035, which is 133% of our um, total goal. Wow. Give yourselves all the airliners live hearts for that one. Fantastic. £8,000 raised. Another bing bong. Thank you so much. Wow, that's huge. I'll have to give it a refresh and we'll read out some of the uh, donations that we had. And yes, this is the um, the one week uh, a year that we have to fundraise here on Airliners Live. We put all our efforts into this one big fundraise. It's the biggest show of the Airliners Live calendar. It's the biggest, most proudest occasion for us. Uh, and this is um, the Airliners Live 2022 charity fundraiser uh, event. And this year we're raising money for the Christie, which is a cancer support and cancer research charity um, based here at Manchester. So this is the one time a year where we are fully not apologetic of um, going full sellout to raise as much money as possible. John Fez are just letting us know that there's only £1,700 left to go to hit the, uh, the, the goal of uh, 10k, I guess. The stretch goal, should I say. Wow, thank you. Huge shout out to all the moderators as well who've done uh, all their bits and everyone who's been sharing um, the posts around the things and all the companies who have donated prizes as well. There's some really, really, really good prizes up for grabs uh, this year. Um, gosh, I can't even begin to, to, to mention what awesome prizes there are. Obviously, the list is on the, uh, the fundraiser page. You can go and see that yourself. Um, I'm just going to quickly... Adjust some things ahead of uh, Sophie's arrival. We have a special guest who has just arrived. Sophie Hampson, the daughter of uh, Peter Hampson. Obviously, who we're raising money on behalf, in memory of. And um, she is also the reason, well, we had to get her on. is because she's the one who started the fundraiser initially. Uh, she started uh, her own fundraiser on Just Giving as well. Uh, in memory of Peter. And obviously, the goal being um, not only to raise money for such a fantastic charity as the Christie is. Um, like we got um, amazing end of life uh, support given to uh, Peter Hampson in his, uh, in his uh, last uh, well few years. But also um, she was doing it also to raise money uh, in his memory. And also as a stretch goal, I think it's 15,000. If we hit that, then um, there'll be a bronze leaf with Peter's name on it, uh, printed on the Tree of Hope at the Christie's as well, inside the actual uh, site. So that's awesome. I mean, we didn't think we'd be able to reach that goal. We didn't think it was possible, but um, I mean, it's, it's very much on the cards. Uh, he's, she's done a fundraiser herself. I think her fundraiser is on about £5,000 now, which is huge. Like, just for her to do on her own, it's monumental and then the aviation society came in and they've donated over 1000 through some of the uh, the stands and things that they've got set up as well uh, auctioning off things like um, um, Peter's uh, collections and things as well so a lot of that's gone towards it so that's going towards the same goal and then finally our amount I mean we're at like uh, 8000 now so I think um, if we were to give 10,000, that would pretty much solidify the, uh, the whole the whole deal, really. Okay, dokie. Um, right. That chair is really high, isn't I it? I am, Hans. Huh? <laughs> 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 oh, dear. There's not another chair here, is there? Um, well, this one's broken, I think. So yeah. like, let me uh, see if we can fix. Is it all right? Or just... As long as you're all right with me being all the way up here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can see a lot as well. I mean, you know what? It might actually help because we'll use this camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, th I tried to move it back, but I don't think it's going to help. But um, that one will be fine. Okay. Well. So let me see. So if we're going to do that. Um, bah, 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 bah. And ladies and gents, can we get some wave emotes in the chat? We've got Sophie Hampson in Hello. the uh, in the studio with us now. Hi. 
Hi. And now she is. Uh, Peter's daughter is uh, with us, folks. She said she was going to come down today, guest on the show, which is fantastic. So, uh, very warm welcome to you. Thank you. Thank How you so you much for having me. Yeah, it's nice to actually be here after watching you guys on uh, on the screen for so long. Yes, um, it's uh, it's going well, the fundraiser. Mm. It is going well, which I've is good. I've been seeing, honestly, I cannot thank you enough. We have been absolutely blown away. Oh, my goodness me. So, when Sophie just arrived before... <laughs> We were at about just, I think we we're £30 shy of 8000 Okay. And now we're at 8490 Oh, my guys. word. So that Honestly. was only about five minutes ago. So we have I a big job. I cannot believe. Sophie, you're more than welcome as well. When we come around to it, you can read out some of the donations as well. And, okay. And thank have you person. got your phone with you? So I'll have, give you the, yeah. I'll give you the chat so you can see everyone as yeah. well. I have been watching as I was sat in the car park before. I was watching you guys and chatting in the chat and things amazing so, so many um, it, do you want me to go on to the fundraiser page um, I'll probably pull up YouTube I think on your phone and okay. then we'll have the fundraiser on that just so you can see the chat I'll and uh, the, there we go and then if you Turn flick the up uh, where the video is um, it'll <laughs> no, but honestly, I cannot thank everybody enough. It's, it's been wild. Been, it's been absolutely amazing. I've been obsessively refreshing the page sort of throughout the days um, yeah. leading up to today and We've just been absolutely blown away, myself and my family. Um, obviously, it means the world to us, so yeah. we cannot thank you all enough. Um, that did jump a lot, didn't it? I don't know I don't know how it jumped so much in just the last five minutes. But amazing. Yeah, I, I just spent a while reading out all the donations to get up to date and now yeah. I'm miles behind. Yeah. Now you're behind again, are you? Yeah, we, 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 obviously we're always ambitious and, and optimistic about these uh, fundraisers, but this year with, you know, times being a bit tougher, we were expecting yeah. not to, <clears throat> to raise as much and we kind of set our goal a little bit lower than it could have been and we've just, just completely smashed through it and it's just going up still, mm -hmm. so... It's insane. It's it's absolutely amazing. It really, really is. Thank you so, so much. Right. right it's um, absolutely smashing the totals. Absolutely smashing it. We'll get this Lufthansa out. And uh, we're getting updates all the time in the chat. Just with, with the total just going up and up and up. It's we will try our very best to keep on top of it. As you know, guys, the fundraising show today, we are going to be focusing 100% on the fo uh, fundraising. Spending a lot of time reading people's names out and stuff like that. So if you're expecting a normal aviation show today, guys, it is not going to be the same as usual because we are proud to be doing the fundraising today and reading out everyone's names. We've got loads to catch up yeah. on. Just real quick, though, because I was just mentioning before, obviously you have your own fundraiser. Obviously, we had to get you on mm -hmm. the show because you're the one who kind of started and was like instrumental in getting this fundraiser going you lay the foundation with your one as well mm. we were able to to join in with that and i know the aviation society have joined in as well with that yeah. as well um you've raised a lot as well haven't you like i i find it amazing like obviously i mean you know it, it's it's hard to compare but we've got like a few hundred thousand followers overall but you're just you and yeah. you've raised thousands like how have you managed that like oh that's gosh insane. i mean the the initial kind of idea i guess sort of started because as i was walking out of christie's one day yeah. um when my dad was was still around I, I noticed on the the wall they had this kind of coin wall and i was like what's mm. that yeah um and it essentially said if you can raise four thousand pounds within one financial year um you can have your name put on this coin and i was oh, like oh okay. that's that's nice you know maybe mm. we should look at something to do with that i think my dad did like that yeah um and i kind of went online did a bit of research and then saw this kind of elusive fifteen thousand pounds and i was like oh blimey you know that that's a lot i'm <laughs> not sure lot, about yeah. that yeah 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 but you know reach for the stars and all that kind yeah. of stuff and my dad was always one for kind of being ambitious and things so i thought you know why not so i set up this page and initially we sort of we asked friends and family obviously for in terms of the funeral rather than flowers for donations mm. and we actually managed to get that four thousand pounds <sighs> literally just days after the funeral wow that's great so that's that was incredible and it kind of testament to my dad really to mm. how many 
people and lives and things he touched and what a yeah, kind of 100%. impact he made on people. Um, and then from then, it's just kind of spiralled, really. We, I mean, our, as you can imagine, knowing my dad's background, our house was a bit like an aviation museum. We had, <laughs> you know, hundreds of reels of slides. We had um, aircraft um, photos. We had everything, models, the whole lot. Yeah. Um, and we had a, a bit of a clear out because we felt like it was something that my dad would want us to do. Mm. And we brought us along to the Task Charity Stall and we've managed to raise just under £2,000 yeah. over the last month or so kind of selling off some of his his belongings yeah. really his aviation memorabilia here at the viewing park yeah. so yeah so we've kind of tried to come together but I've got to be honest with you we were really in it for the long haul we kind of thought okay well this is going to take us years and years yeah, but yeah, thanks yeah. to you guys and your amazing community <laughs> I mean we are absolutely blown away yeah. so we didn't expect this yeah. much at all to be honest no we, we didn't I mean especially with the the cost of living and stuff at the mm. moment as well um, it was it was definitely something where we thought, are we going to be able to uh, even hit the six thousand? Mm. Yeah, and I then think, for yeah. the first time ever in airliners' live history, the uh, six thousand was hit before the <laughs> by the midweek show. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, days within, ago. Within twenty four hours, we were already at fifty percent. Yeah. So it was just like, well, <laughs> I, th I think we're going to hit it, let's be honest. Yeah. It's, it's like, one of those things, do? isn't it, I think, that sadly, I mean, I remember when I was younger, it was kind of one in four people supposed to be sort of affected by cancer. Yeah. And now I know it's one in two, but I don't think there is anybody who is fortunate enough to have not been touched by cancer by mm. some kind of, yeah. in some way, whether it's directly or indirectly. Yeah. So I think this charity does mean a lot to people. Um, yeah, I mean, it's one in two now, isn't it? And then... <laughs> It's just affecting every everyone mm. you know has, has had someone who's who's had to go through it, and mm. it's and that's why we think, especially with airliners live, we always try and include a charity that does something about cancer because the research just has to be done yeah. on it. it just, yeah. And Christie's are absolutely phenomenal in their research. They're doing some really groundbreaking research at the moment. Um, you know, in in all sorts of aspects in. Um, both paediatric cancers and just all cancers basically they are amazing not only are they kind of a hospital that obviously provides incredible care to people going through cancer and their yeah. families but as well you know the the research they're doing is is amazing and that's, that's so. uh, just as important isn't it I mean how would you say um, obviously you, you dad um, got quite ill towards the end but he, mm. he was actually getting treatment for a long time wasn't a he? A very long time um, he was diagnosed my dad when he was 57 um, and initially the kind of he had a, a type of leukemia called acute myeloid leukemia and initially they said to him that without treatment he would have two weeks to live um, which was quite a shock uh, as a you can shock. imagine yeah, wow. um, and so he was at our local hospital they transferred him pretty much immediately to to the Christie Hospital and they started treatment straight away. Yeah. Um, and obviously he had quite a few gruelling months but he went into remission. Um, he had a bone marrow transplant and I mean obviously I can't give you the story, the, the whole story, it's been seven and a half years yeah, yeah. but mm. he went into remission many, many times mm. and the care that they gave him was phenomenal. Um, they, lay, uh, they had absolutely no st stone unturned. Um, it meant that he could enjoy seven and a half years more of life. He managed to meet his two grandchildren, my two children, who are now seven and two. We had so many incredible memories together. And for a really long time, we kind of thought that we'd be able to cross out the leukemia from, from yeah. the list sort of thing that it was done for. Sadly, within that time, he also um, had a stroke and he had skin cancer, which, I mean, the man was, he was just a medical marvel you know we just he just kept going and going wow. he refused to give in yeah. he was incredible and he was um, still down the rvp every absolutely. weekend <laughs> i mean he loved I, I know you know you can hear in the background the commentary going on from above us but um it was one of his favorite things to do you know i mean he he earned himself a name mr aviation there was a great reason for that i mean this was his life he was always down here he was always on the phone checking up on how things were going yeah. and everything else so same with us he was ringing us and just saying, oh, i saw what she stream today and yeah. um, that was really good maybe you can add this for next yeah. time yeah, yeah, and it yeah. was just great it was so like we just really valued his, yeah. his yeah. input in the, I've in never one. met someone who gives off that level of enthusiasm in my life not even in 
just aviation but in just general like he's so positive and yeah yeah like always offers constructive criticism and things and it's just like mm. fantastic so and always thinking about other people as well was mm. the thing he, that struck me that about was him. one of the things that he really prided himself on was just kind of being a mentor to people obviously you know he had his own business and things but just kind of um, being there to kind of help others and yeah. you know obviously the, the fact that it was aviation as well you know he couldn't help himself well, but be involved, be involved <laughs> and the thing was and, and I've said it before on the street is that when when we were looking at um, going part time by the end of last year, um, he was chatting to me saying, "Right, we do this, do that." And then when it kind of become apparent that actually we were going to be able to go full time by November that year, it was a big like, "Oh wow, we're not ready for this." Like yeah. this this was not in the plan at all. Um, and I remember ringing you, Dad, because um, he's like, anything you need, just ring me. And um, it was the day before that I knew I was going to hand my notice in at work. And I, I w <laughs> went outside, hid behind the building, and I rang him. I said, Pete, I said, I think I'm going to hand my notice in tomorrow. <laughs> he goes, all right, yeah, yeah, right, good, congratulations, great, let's do it. And I was like, yeah, do, do you reckon? <laughs> and um, he was like, no, he said, if you guys can't do it, no one can do it yeah. and he just said that um, anything you need business wise just give me a ring I'll be able to help you anything you need to ask about money or you know accounting or anything to do with the business said me and Debbie at the end yeah. of the phone and yeah. he was just always always like just super happy to help as and well and I told you guys as well that you know uh, of the many many times that he was in the Christie's and impatient I'd often walk in and be like oh hiya dad and I'd be like dad hello and he'd be like yeah just hold on just watching the airliners <laughs> Right, okay, I'll just I'll just sit down a minute and just wait yeah. patiently here, oh, and he'd just have his laptop up on his table and just be, oh, you know, this is this, and you know, oh, I told the guys this. And, yeah, he was really, he was really proud, really that's, proud. That's, uh, that's really humbling to know because I know you mentioned to me off stream that throughout his treatment he was still watching the channel yeah. which is uh, which is crazy I'm glad we yeah. could like take him to like his kind of like happy place you mm -hmm. know when he's when he's like going through treatments I guess it was kind of like an escape for him I guess exactly yeah, yeah. right up until the very end he had his laptop up on his table watching <laughs> you guys so, uh, that's crazy so yes yeah, so you were definitely definitely up there so okay let's jump to the fundraiser um, Sophie do you want to hit this button right here yeah, there we go. We've hit. Well, we've passed right through while talking. Then nine thousand oh pounds word. total. Have we? That's not even with oh with uh, gift aid. Not with, that's not with gift aid. Gift aid's on top of that. Wow. So we're now at nine thousand two hundred and twenty-nine pounds. I'm kind of worried about how long it's going to take to read all these donations out. Yeah, you're <laughs> worrying about that, and I'm worrying about shaving my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I should have brought my razor with us. Yeah, oh, no, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. We've um, we've got another um, member of the channel who's um, he lives up in uh, Sunderland, and he's coming down in uh, about a month or so. And uh, he's, he said he's going to do the same. So we're going to wait for that to happen. We're going to be picking Yeah, we're going to we're going to put it off for a month. And, <laughs> and, uh, That's what I was trying and to we're going to slowly <laughs> hope people forget about it. That's, That's what I was happen. trying to say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's what I was yeah. We're just going to, you know, maybe maybe Fezza can't make, make it. Can Fezza can't make it. Oh. Mom, he'll have to come to me. Yeah, my mum, dad. The... Oh, oh, so. oh, we've got the uh, the trimmers now. Oh, oh trimmers are broke. Sorry, guys. I can make it happen. I can make it happen. Don't worry. A few people have volunteered, that haven't they? Uh, Captain Mark was saying the same when he's got the he was on. he's involved um, he's involved yeah apparently he's opted in I don't know how <laughs> same way you opted in just got guilted in <laughs> I, I did <laughs> right, I'm, I'm scrolling down by the way until I find where we were left off I think I remember did, it were was, we at Kevin were we at Kevin D further back than that um, I think guys there's so much coming there's through. so many I I'm, I'm sure it was... Was it not Cassie's where it was like... Uh, I thought it was Kevin D's 150 was the last we read out. It was this. Okay. No, that was last that you read out. And oh, so I you've read done some, more. Guy. I yeah, did yeah, more yeah. when you were, yeah, you yeah. were talking. Okay. Um, we're here. There's quite a lot. So um, how do we want to do this? Do you want to read out some, so? Yeah, I don't mind. So... Uh, if you just want to read out the amounts, uh, obviously the name, and if they've got a oh, message... Just the, just the names if you want, so if we've got yeah. that many to read out. Yeah. 
So we're in a poll, I guess you pronounce that? Yes, I suppose so, with a 30 euro donation. Thank you ever so much for that. Um, Karen Glenn says, lost my best friend to cancer at age 34, leaving two little girls. Goodness me, I'm so sorry for that. This is for Meredith, and she gives £5. Thank you so much. Thank Every you single very little much. bit really does make a difference, so thank you. Um, anonymous at £13, and that ever important gift aid as well. Thank you. Um, Robin Giles, is yeah, that? That's well right, yeah. done, guys, on the great work for a great charity, and that's a £10 donation. Thank you so much. You're actually pronouncing names right. That's something that we don't do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a teacher, Excuse so me, I suppose mate. I do have a little bit we're of live, a... We're live streaming at the moment. Can you ask upstairs? Yeah, it is, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Fan there at the window. Uh, love Marmite. Oh, controversial. A great cause, <laughs> a great channel, and a great community. £20. Thank you so much for that. Um, Rob Sandbach with £30 and Kez RG a cause close to my heart great job everyone and that's 50 is that 50 Australian dollars is it with yes it will be yes. yeah, yeah. Oh, wowzers look at me you see like a water <laughs> <laughs> my dad would be impressed yeah uh, shall I keep going if you want yeah Sharon Jones with a £5 donation keep up the great work you do an amazing behind the scenes work as well Steve Stevie E a great cause, fellas. Keep up the good work with a £10 donation. Frank, thank you very much. Another £10 donation. He says, great work, guys. Um, Alec Broadbent, another £10 donation. Goodness me. <laughs> 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 I'm going to need my on. water in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Tammy T, great show, guys. Happy to support a great cause. Much love to all. And that's another £10 donation. Um, Jack Fletcher love the stream love the cause keep it going guys thank you £25 thank you so much thank you very much am I keeping going? yeah go on I, uh, can, take, I can take over whenever you want <laughs> Reese. oh gosh I hope I'm going to pronounce this Questnel uh, apologies if I've not pronounced that correctly that's £30 wowzers thank you so much yeah. thank you very much um, Paula got a surprise win on premium bonds they thought hey. I would pass it on oh thank you so much that's so so kind of you that's £25 thank you thank, thank you so Paula. much Paula um, Mark Giddens £10 thank you another an two anonymous donations of £10 amazing uh, Josh Tremi, Tremarco, yeah, Tremarco, yeah. Superb choice of charity, lads. You've you'd have smashed my work. You see, I'm losing it now. Oh dear, yeah, that's it. You'd have smashed it. Absolutely amazing. Very thoughtful from yous and generous. Keep it up. You're smashing it, and sure you'll be at a hundred k in no time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm not too sure about that one, mate. <laughs> I think he means that this uh, subscribers because we're oh, sorry. Ah, I think he's, yeah, we're right, right. right, that makes that yeah. makes more or, sense. Or, may, or maybe he's ambitious. Oh, I don't know. Well, I was going to say, we the stars and all that. <laughs> um, another anonymous at ten pounds. Ian Dunn, great charity. Keep up the good work, guys. Ten pounds. Um, Eddie Pyle, would that mm, be? Yeah. Twenty pounds. Great work. Thank you so much much michael dean love your shows guys you make my sunday so much better with a 10 pound donation thank you michael anonymous five pounds oh there's a name that i know there susie metcalf 15 pounds thank you so much um mark 10 pounds sue lawson 25 pounds fantastic charity and fantastic hospital who are looking after my mum at this time oh. wow best wishes to your mum sue yeah sending lots and lots of love whole community is behind us mm -hmm. annie g with another 25 pound donation great charity guys keep up the good work Janet Burns with a generous £20. Great cause. I've lost family members to cancer and a number of friends and work colleagues. It's a horrible disease. Keep up, keep up the good work. Yeah, I think she speaks for a lot of people there. Um, Neve, I echo everyone's sentiments on how worthy a cause this stream is honouring and how important every little penny is. Thank you for the Hampson Hatch. Is that the new nickname, is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good name, isn't it? Yeah, I like that, I like, the Hampson yeah. Hatch. I love um, that. Bradley Caslin, £2. Thank you so much. Um, Jill Clough and Gordon, as I'm not a taxpayer, I can't give aid. Here's a little top up for the donation I made last week. Thank I you did very last much. week but forgot. Thank you so much, Jill. Uh, CD John, currently having treatment at the Christie. Wow, not working for me, but glad to donate to help others. Oh, John, we're sending you so, so much love. Yeah, good luck, John. We can do this. Um, Daniel Whitaker, Danielle Whitaker, sorry. Amazing work, guys. Proud to be part of this community for £25. Thank you, thank you. So it's still, it keeps going, doesn't it? <laughs> I, think, I think I'm going to be 
be hitting oh, her give, all day. Give, do, do you want to take over, oh, Andy, yeah, and give her a breather? Yeah, yeah, I, I, might, I might have a sip of water. You know? yeah. <laughs> uh, Graham Hill with a 20, uh, sorry, 40 pounds. Same awesome amount raised so far, guys. Great charity in memory of Peter. Fly high, sir. Cheers, uh, Graham. Andy Booth with a ten pound saying just donated. Great work uh, onwards and upwards. Uh, a thirty anonymous, um, a thirty euro anonymous donation as well. Thank you, Steve Barnes with a ten pound saying we've lost. Um, sorry, we've lost of close family and many friends to cancer, including my wife. Um, this is a cause close to my heart, and I'm proud to give a little. Cheers, uh, Steve. I'm sorry to hear about that. Thank you so much. Uh, Heather Bradshaw with a 20 Australian saying, let's get to 10K. Great job, AL. Thank you, Heather. I think I think it's on the cards, if I'm honest. Anthony Elsa with a £10 saying, great uh, channel and a great cause. Thanks, guys. Kevin D with another... I'm going to have to hit this button. <laughs> I was just going to say, should we ding dong? <laughs> £150 once again from Kevin Kevin D. really wants to see us get our head uh, shaved. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's going to be here with the razors himself, I All think. Right. Thank you so much, <laughs> He won't let that go. Uh, Alison Rogers with a £30 saying just a little towards your total. Darren Parr with a £25. Um, Prashanth, maybe? Prashanth, yeah. Prashanth, Apologies yeah. if we've not said that right. <laughs> With a £10, with no message. Louise Roberts saying, amazing, Sophie, with a £10. Uh, Paul uh, Betts with a £20, saying, such a worthwhile charity. Tracy Carling with a £20. Uh, Aid Hardwick with a uh, £10, saying, congratulations on such a fantastic fundraiser. Let's bring this terrible disease to an end. Thank you, Aid. Uh, Alan B with a £10. Adam Giles with a uh, £10, saying, happy to donate to such a great cause. Keep up the great work. Uh, Paul Homersham uh, with a uh, £25 saying Clippers on charge. <laughs> Certainly should be. Graham Thompson with a £10 saying I hope this small amount goes a long way to help the charity. I myself am suffering from terminal cancer and understand how important this is. I'm sorry to hear about that, uh, Graham. Sorry about that, Graham. But yeah, the whole community is behind everyone who's uh, going through it at the minute, guys. Chris W with the uh, unknown amount. Uh, so I know you can hide the amounts. I wouldn't recommend it, guys, but you know, you're more than welcome to if you really want to. Um, saying, great work, guys. Really enjoying watching the planes. Land every 10 minutes after passing over my house. Amazing. Ray with the £20, saying, lots of love. John Lawson with a uh, £25, saying, great charity. Um, being helped by an amazing community. Thank you, John. Scappy with a £30, saying, great charity in memory of Peter. Well done, AL. Thank you, Scappy. Uh, Darren Landles with a £10 saying sitting watching my with my five kids um, we'll probably have to come out of uh, my wife's <laughs> PayPal again lol <laughs> <laughs> now you don't get yourself in trouble yeah <laughs> it's a good cause but come on um, no chicken dinners for a month and then Tony Parkinson with the mega donation as well £50 with no message thank you Tony P thanks Tony he also went in uh, on YouTube and Twitch and gifted 10 Memberships on each one, respectively. Before. I know, I, saw I that didn't read that out. Thank you very much, Sony. Thank you, Tony Peep. Really appreciate it. Um, huge support of the channel. Stuart Game with a ten pound saying, "I lost my mum to cancer a couple of years ago, but the Christies helped uh, prolong her life years uh, after initial um, prognosis." Yeah, yeah um, great cause. Thank you, Stuart. And I'm sorry about to hear about that, Stuart. But um, thank you so much for this, uh, the donation. Um, Tim since uh, 1970. Thanks for the support. Uh, such a vital charity. Have a great day today and well done on smashing your goal with the scissors emote. Mm. Thank you so much. <laughs> Paul. Getting the scissors emote you know, on there. <laughs> Paul Pete saying I was a member of TAS many years ago. My father recently died from cancer, so good luck on your fundraising with a £30. That's very generous, Paul. Yeah. Sorry to hear that yeah. as well. Uh, Carl Simansky with a £30 saying uh, thanks for the great show, guys. Fly safe. Anonymous with a £10 and Colin Beely with a £10 as well wow. saying great work best wishes I'll keep Oof. up the great work wow. 306, uh, 356 donations in total Wowzers. absolutely crazy if, gonna, if I refresh this it's going to go up no I, I've already refreshed <laughs> yeah. it so I've, I've got a bit of a list yeah. waiting to go apologies if you're I don't know I mean, we're, we're, I'm not even going to apologise actually because we are just going to sit here and read out all these donations because there's so much support coming in Huge yeah. donations left, right, yeah. centre. It's, it's so yeah. We do week. this once a year, guys, and uh, like I say, once a year, the show is not about the planes on airliners live. Uh, very weird to say, but uh, <laughs> it is about the fundraising once a year, guys. So um, let's have a look. Did you right say now? Andrew Hallworth was your last one? Uh, my last one was 
Oh gosh, we've got to scroll down. Oh, already. yeah, that was right. fast. Colin Bealy, wasn't it? I didn't read that it's out now. Oh we've wow, taken God. To read them out. Oh yeah, you mm. did read oh, that. You yeah, did, I did. I did yeah. read that, Colin Bealy. Sorry, yeah, you're, you're so, right. So Peter Carroll with yeah. the fifty Australian dollars coming in. Thank you so much, Peter. Uh, Mark Pearson saying, "Great work, guys. Watching from sunny Spain." Kicking back, Mark. Enjoy it, mate. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks for the donation. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Uh, Susie B saying, what a fantastic charity, working tirelessly to support cancer patients. It certainly is, Susie. Thanks so much for your donation. Uh, Andrew Hallworth with the £30 donation saying, here's another little donation. Listening to his daughter describe her dad uh, sounds like an awesome gentleman. So touching, um, so touching how he touched so many people through his passion for aviation. That's uh, that's absolutely right, Andrew. Thank you very much for Thank your you. Uh, donation, your kind words as well, mate. Uh, Elaine. Thank you very much. Saying great cause. Well done. Cheers, Elaine. Um, Justin Waddington with a £10 donation saying keep up the great work. Thank you very much, Justin. Um, and I'm going to pause there for a second because we've got a free 50 on the roll and it will give us a little breather. Enjoy the sound of this, guys. <laughs> Thanks to everyone sending donations and it's, uh, the sport's crazy today. And cheers, Mods, for keeping on top of everything as well. Yeah. Uh, I can never get over how good them engines sound. No, the Rolls Royce Trents, XWBs, oh my gosh. We do like 350 on the channel. Chat spamming the 350 emote in the chat as yes. well. Thanks, everyone. Um, Sasha McCarthy saying, great cause to get the permanent memorial for Peter. Um, hopefully, it'll help. Uh, uh, hopefully, help and support others with cancer. I lost both my parents to it. Keep up with the good work, says Sasha. Thank you so much, Sasha, for your uh, very generous donation and uh, your long term support of the channel as well. Um, Ian. Scott saying hello from Gibraltar you guys make my Sunday morning especially the food conversations we've not had uh, one of those yet today have we <laughs> uh, cancer affects us all it certainly does Ian and it's something that needs to stop uh, so thank you so much for your very generous donation mate I'm glad you enjoy the shows uh, Luke Adelante saying uh, after my grandma's passing earlier this year after a battle with cancer this seems like a perfect place to donate uh, keep up the good work airliners live sorry to hear about that Luke but um, your money certainly will go towards cancer research mate so uh, well worth donating everyone and thank you very much for supporting the channel and the fundraiser this year uh, Leslie Lee saying what a great cause hope you meet your target well we've actually already smashed the target Leslie um, I'm not hoping to hit the 10k target <laughs> kind of <laughs> Um, I am. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Plug 56 for the £10. Thank you very much. An anonymous donation coming in as well. Thank you very much. Nigel Roscoe with uh, your donations and great shows, guys. My father have recently benefited from treatment at Christie's. So fabulous cause. Keep up the good work. Best wishes to Sophie. Her dad was and is still an inspiration. Thank you so much Thank for that. Very much, very Nigel. proud daughter. Very proud. Uh, John H. with a very generous donation. Thank you very much. Um, Peter Peter Gregory saying, well done, Airline is Live. Such a great charity. It certainly is, Peter. Uh, an anonymous £10 coming in. Jenny and Jaden, I hope you're well, guys. Saying, proud to be part of the Airline is Live family with a very generous £30 donation. Thank you very much, guys. And finally, on my screen, although I doubt it's the end of them because we've not refreshed. Yeah. <laughs> Tracy <laughs> saying, uh, great charity and great live streams of your donation. Thank you so much, guys. Um, yeah, absolutely crazy support coming in on the Airliners Live fundraiser this year. Honestly, it's, uh, my dad would be so immensely proud and just blown over with everybody's support because I just it's beyond what we imagined. I mean, as a family, when you know when you first got in touch with us and we kind of had a chat about it, we said, "Oh, wouldn't it be amazing if they could just give us a bit of a nudge and maybe you know." Well, that was the three, plan. We just wanted to give pounds. it a bit on yeah. top, didn't we? Mm. Yeah, and honestly, like I said, I've been kind of manically refreshing <laughs> um, the page as the week went on. Just you know, I've been up in the in our family group chat saying, "Oh my word, have you actually seen this total? <laughs> it is incredible." Yeah. So um, honestly. I just can't thank you enough. Um, 
Like well, I said, we can't yeah. do it without all the thousands of people exactly. here in the community were absolutely smashing it and they, they come together every single year yeah. honestly every year we do a fundraiser and the, the community just blows us away every yeah. single time it was it's, like it's when uh, in 2020 you know with all the lockdowns and things and we were like there's no way we're going to raise that much this year because everyone's got to you know people with jobs and you know people not be able to work and things and we we smashed the, the target there mm. yeah and yeah. this year again it was like do people have the money at the moment to be able yeah. to, to help us out you know we'll set it nice and at a reasonable amount and mm. you know right now we're at past nine and a half thousand I can't so. believe it people are just so and we're, so we're getting closer and closer to the tanker yeah. even as even as we're speaking now um, shall I send an SOS home and ask them to bring some clippers in <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, no not not not, not straight away, are I don't sure? think. Uh, I'm pretty sure yeah um, we also have the Emirates A380 which is the number one most tracked playing on flight radar globally at the moment over uh, one and a half thousand people tracking that and it's the uh, what i like to call the penguin uh <laughs> livery um but it was in yesterday as well was it's it? cool that we got to see it today what's the name of that livery it hasn't got the name on flight like radar something about the future isn't yeah it? Well, well look to the future I yeah think it says on maybe the there's side. a photo of it i think it's something like that my favourite play in the A380. I was lucky enough to travel on there when my dad was working over in Dubai. Went over to Dubai a few times on the A380. Nice. Yeah. yeah, loved it. Amazing. Business and economy. Yeah. Amazing. Definitely. Amazing. Yeah, so that was business with Emirates, was it? Yeah. I bet that was uh, luxurious. That was it incredible. was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm very jealous. <laughs> yeah, my uh, went with my other half and he had a great time at the bar. I was pregnant at the time, so I was enjoying a nap on the uh, on the sort of the flatbed seats, which yeah. were amazing. But yeah. yeah, he very much enjoyed himself in the in the bar. <laughs> Every time he goes away, Dad, you left your notebook behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, so that'll be touching down here it's on the base leg of the approach it's a couple of minutes out uh, okay we'll let's see to. if I can quickly catch up before then so Kevin Valor thanks very much for a huge £50 donation saying excellent charity the Christie treated my wife Anne several years ago uh, keep up the good work in raising so much money for a worthy cause thank you so much Kevin for a very generous uh, donation and, and uh, I hope your wife is, uh, is doing okay mate um, and Paul Cunliffe with another £50 donation saying, uh, one more play, Andy, thanks again for your community from Vision thing. Thank you very much, mate. Thanks for the very generous donation. Uh, m s Thompson, thank you very much for your donation. No message. Uh, Naomi Richardson saying, great cause. My husband, Simon, loves you guys. Uh, thanks for keeping him entertained. Uh, well, I hope he's not taking the big TV, Naomi, in the front room. Um, if he is, you're... Uh, Hope you're enjoying the show as well. Um, Flying Architect with the huge... Can we get a bing bong for Flying Architect with a hundred wow. pound donation going in? You saying, got it. Hopefully <laughs> time this. It. Hopefully time this right to get us to the 10k. Brilliant cause, brilliant channel, brilliant community. Ever so proud to be a small part of this event from a very sunny and hot Cyprus. Oof, hope you're enjoying it, mate. Thank you for everything you do. Um, and we will. Look, I've not looked at the total. I think we're very, very close, though, but that's uh, a huge I've donation. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Holland, thank you very much for your £10 donation. Saying good luck, guys. Um, thanks for everything you do. My dad loves your show and it's given him a new lease of life. That's great to hear, Michael, and thank you so much for your donation. Where are we at? Oh, gosh, oh, there's so word. many more. Yeah. Um, Robbie with the £25 saying great cause you're doing a great job with a £25 donation thank you so much Dan Lucas let's kick cancer's backside <laughs> <That one. laughs> keep up the good work says Dan <laughs> thank you so much Dan um, Kevin Henry with the huge £50 donation saying I'm blown away with the generosity of this community I think all the donations says it all thank you to everyone Kevin I couldn't have put it better myself mate thank you so much I agree dude. the huge donation Paul Gardner £30 donation once again the Airliners Live community comes together to help the fight against something that affects so many thanks to everyone involved much love to Sophie and all of Peter's family thank, thank you very you. much uh, Paul and my final donation here from Jeff D with the hundred dollar donation <laughs> watching early morning from the US a donation for a great cause love your show every week from Jeff D and ladies and gentlemen, we are now at ten and a half <laughs> ten and <laughs> thousand Not pounds only. plus, ladies and gentlemen, two thousand one hundred and thirty-four pound gift aid, which puts the total to around twelve and a half thousand pounds, ladies and gentlemen, wow. on airliners live oh twenty twenty-two. 
what can wow. we say? I felt speechless. I am, absolutely yeah. amazing. Well totally done, everyone, for hitting the 10k, Thank guys. You. Absolutely <laughs> smashed it. This is going to change. Well, so that's not going to be here for much longer, is it? Looks <laughs> 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 well, like we'll just be wandering around wearing hats for the next that's, three uh, months. Yeah, sleeping in my hat, you know. I mean, I only live 15 minutes down the road. I can always. Yeah, you are, you're all right. I don't want to get hair all over the floor. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're thinking of the, uh, the logistics here. Oh, but I no. think that pretty much solidifies the um, the bronze leaf, I think. Uh, I mean, if you've raised yes. like 5,000, obviously the Aviation Society raising, was it 2,000? Yeah. yeah. So I are we there? We've Have we hit absolutely it? Absolutely smashed yeah, it. Yeah, we're comfortable. Um, gonna, we're going to go full screen yeah, for this. Yeah, I think we're probably on about 17,000, not 17,000. Yeah, 17,000, I think we're probably we'll on. on. There or thereabouts. We'll have to do a quick calculation afterwards. So but we've honestly, got Peter we've, the permanent we've smashed memorial. It. You've yep. smashed it rather. You know, your community no, you, um, smashed it. No, we couldn't have done it without your guys as well. Oh, my word. So what, um, for people who may not know a bit about it, w the permanent memorial that we're getting, then yeah, what is that? Yeah, so it's called the Tree of Hope, um, and it's in Christie's, and it's for people who have raised £15,000 or above, um, and the bronze leaf is um, sort of engraved with that person's name, so it'll have yeah. Peter Hampson on it, and that will go up on the Tree of Hope, um, and it'll be there forever, and honestly, That's I cannot amazing. tell you how much that means to my family and I. Um, it's just my dad would have loved it he would have absolutely yeah. loved it and the fact that we're going to change so many lives by doing that as well um i i honestly don't have the words right now i yeah. really really don't <laughs> i just think i can just sort of picture in my head my just my dad being just so excited and and it's just great that he's got that memorial as well and yeah and um yeah it'll be uh all a massive thank you to everyone who's donated who's helped us get to yeah. that because um, I know it's something that you wanted to do over a long period of time I really wanted to give it a push and I, I was really hoping that um, we could get you a bit closer and maybe a couple of grand away um, oh but um, I'm sure it means a huge amount to the family but it also means a huge amount to the channel as well that um, he's got that memorial he definitely deserves it I, I think it would mean even more so to my dad that it has been given that kind of helping hand by not only you guys but a community a com community of aviation enthusiasts and everything yeah. like that because like i said my dad was kind of mr aviation he was you know he kind of his, his entire life was about aviation yeah. so the fact that it's come from you guys i think will just mean so much more as well mm. um i'm really glad we could help he, yeah. he was very instrumental in, in where we are today you know he obviously as martin said he mentored us a lot on the business side he helped us a lot with things like this this tower and getting us involved with the aviation society in the early days and um yeah so he kind of like laid the foundation of what would soon become this fundraiser pretty much you know yeah yeah, yeah. Um, this I is mean, my first time seeing this plane by the way this this, this livery it is so we'll um we'll enjoy this arrival guys uh a380 in the livery first time seeing it on airliners live um and uh although we call it the penguin livery it's uh, the journey to the future it's the it's, journey to the future is its real name yeah which is named after a uh, I, believe, I believe a museum exhibition in dubai at the moment uh, a big shout out as well, folks, to Matt Smith on the camera, who's uh, looking after things today, which means me and Andy can be down here and really involved in the show. So Yeah, I'm very glad we did, because thank you, Matt. initially we were just going to go the usual, but... Yeah, I think this has tops it up. It really it's, 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 it's definitely helped. Like, you know, it's, it's, I don't think it would have been doing a great job as well. Here it is, just about to touch down. Great timing, and just as we hit the 10K as well. <laughs> the, did, uh, we did the, the same on uh, Wednesday with the 380 hit yeah. the golden. It's no Smarties livery, it's but not it's, as, it's not bad. It's not as theatrical, <laughs> is it? It doesn't use as much paint, though, I think, as the main... Yeah, they've definitely saved a bit on the old paint bill there. I like, I like how they've used the windows as, like, the spacing, you know, like, the windows, yeah, and then it's, like, good. and there's the text, and then the windows below, it looks really smart. Yeah. Matt did a great job catching that arrival. Biggest passenger aircraft on the planet. Um, 
and um, arriving here at Manchester Airport with this special livery. For the first time we've seen it on Airliners Live, I think it's first time flying that livery into Manchester was yesterday. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. What do you think in the chat, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get a yay or a nay for that livery. And a massive thanks as well to all of the Twitch crew as well. I know you guys have been getting involved in the chat as well. So massive welcome to all of you. And thanks very much for tuning into the fundraiser this year. And the next departure, I think, will be a Virgin Atlantic A330. And, um, and also another donation that uh, I was supposed to read out as well and I completely forgot was uh, came in while we were offline um, from uh, the guys over at Phoenix as well uh, big shout out to Amir uh, who put in a huge £350 plus gift aid donation to support the charity we love the Phoenix Sim 320 guys, uh, we were fortunate enough to be on the beta for it as well uh, Amir does tune in and watch the channel as well and uh, yeah, we, a huge, massive shout out to those guys for uh, supporting the fundraising in such a huge way this year with a huge £350 donation going in from the Phoenix team as well. A lot of, uh, I keep saying, going to say super chats. I do. Donations coming in. Oh my I word. mean, we've, we've, we've passed 600 over the 10k goal, so, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I noticed as well somebody, I've actually lost the message now, but somebody in the chat before said, can we have a, a memorial reveal thing, uh, video, they said. Um, I actually spoke to the charity lead from Christie's yesterday and said, you know, I've, I've got a sneaking suspicion we may perhaps possibly get the 15k tomorrow <laughs> uh, this is when i spoke to her yesterday and she said that she was putting an order in for the leaf and that in a few weeks time we can go down to christie's and uh, watch that being put up onto the tree of hope so when Amazing. we do that we'll make sure we, we send a picture to you guys yeah um so that you know just to so that you're amazing community can see um, that's fantastic and how much that means to us as well amazing that's uh, that's great it's uh something to look forward to I think mm. that looks crazy from that angle doesn't it that A380 like yeah, that livery looks huge on the side there I've only ever seen it from like above you know like mm. when um, the guys over at LA Flight seen it at J JFK they were kind of above it when, when you blow it though it looks huge for people who say I can't see a penguin we will repost <laughs> the picture that we put on yeah, YouTube you because <laughs> I can understand why you may not see it straight away. Yeah, but <laughs> it is there. I wonder if I, I can promise. find the one. Can you find it? Yeah. Show I think Sophie may be slightly I I confused where the penguin is. Uh, I think, is it not that big round circle? Yeah, there with like, the eye. Yeah, but that's yeah. the and then the head and. The <laughs> Wait, I think I've got the post. <laughs> Have you got it? Well, I'll try and find it. We will. We'll show you on camera, guys, what we're talking about. There it is. And you will never unsee it. Here we go. Stand by. Uh, you know what? Let me. Let me. We'll, we'll show after. Wait. So that there it is. Ah, right. That's it. I, I, I made that as well. <laughs> it's it's so literally so his so proudest so creation on airline. It's like I don't. I don't waste my time. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, where is it? I'll show it to the old camera as well. There it is. <laughs> hey. Do you reckon? <laughs> you all proud. see it now, don't it's you? Look it says, by the way, members only above. You, you guys get a bit of members only content here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the members get on Ilana's Live. You know what I mean? This is why it's a really valuable membership program, guys, because you get to see <laughs> daft Worth pictures. Every penny. Yeah, certainly. Is. And, I, and I made that meme, by the way. Yeah, I, I, made, I, I pay two ninety nine a month to yeah. see memes like that. <laughs> There you go. Everyone's everyone's ruined that livery, you know. Yeah, you will never unsee that yeah. penguin now, guys. It's now the penguin. Enjoy. Another gift from us to you. <laughs> Just ruined their PR from Emirates. <laughs> Emirates ringing us up. Mate, you stop showing that penguin. <laughs> we have to repay it. It's not it. a penguin. <laughs> right, I got the Virgin Atlantic A330. I think it's uh, heading off to Islamabad. Yes, yeah, so they're still operating services covering the uh, traffic that was once covered by PIA. Uh, no news on that for no. myself, but uh, yeah, they are uh, working alongside Jordan Aviation, I believe. Yeah, I believe, so. I believe they're returning because aren't they operating to Doncaster at the moment? Or are they really random like that? Jordan Aviation, instead of operating to Manchester, they go to Doncaster. Uh, I'm pretty sure, maybe someone in the chat can confirm that. But they're returning to Manchester, I think in October. 
Okay, Here we go, version of Atlantic A330 now departing. rotation from the Virgin Atlantic. Matt doing a great job, Matt. You're definitely, uh, camera work's getting a lot, 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 lot better. It's when we're, uh, I'm getting a bit nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Smith, one of our, uh, yeah, he's one of our moderators and he's uh, opted to join the cam uh, do the camera today. Oh, right, okay. Uh, usually me and Martin do a split of like either I'm up there or he's up there and the other one does all this, you know, downstairs. But so we're worried for your job now, are you? <laughs> I, I know that's it. Yeah, it's a risk now. But all this setup is not usually this extensive, which is right. about half the size of this. Because now we've got like so many screens and different mm -hmm. cameras and things. We don't usually have all that. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot more super chat donations. Should I say not super chats? <laughs> super chats is the YouTube term for it, but they're not on uh, this. Where did Martin get up to? I think he read out Kevin Henry's. I know that. We'll go and read some more out. Okay. There's a lot, a oh, lot more. Me. Yeah, that. Wow. Okay. Oh my word. <laughs> right, we definitely read out Kevin Henry's. I think Paul Gardner as well. Yes, we read out that one. Um, we'll read out Jeff D's. I think. <coughs> yeah, we had Jeff D's. I remember reading that one out. Okay. Do you want me to go or do you want to go? Yeah, you, you want to read a few out? And okay, then uh, okay. let me know when you so, want to stop. Richard Ackers, again, hopefully I've pronounced that correctly, with £10 donation, keep up the amazing work. Claire and Robert Gleave, what an amazing fundraiser you guys are doing so well. Cancer has touched our family on both sides. I'm sure Peter is so proud. Thank you so much for that with a £5 donation. I can tell you right now he would be immensely proud. And oh my goodness me, Cliff Elson with £250 wow. donation. Wowzers. <laughs> right, hold on a minute. Let me do this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for that. That's so kind. Uh, Mickey Mags, brilliant charity to raise money for. This community is the best with a £30 donation. Kevin D, again, thank you so much. He says, head shave coming. Lol. <laughs> with a £150. What, what <laughs> uh, from Brian and Linda Clark, good luck. We hope you raise lots of money with a £10. We are raising a lot of money, my goodness me. Thank you. Ian Prothero, keep up, keep up the good work. Donating as a close family member has had successful treatment and continual monitoring from the Christie's for many years. That's fantastic news uh, with a £10 donation there. Max and Lawrence Smith, uh, great work, guys. An incredibly worthy cause. Extremely proud of you all with a £20 donation. Thank you. Um, John Folly, he says the A380 time. Congrats on 10k with a 103 pounds and 80 pence donation. Thank you so much. Anonymous, a 20 pound donation. Terry Edwards, another small donation from the Stokey Squad, if I got that right. Yeah. Uh, great to be part of this amazing community. You guys are smashing it. Thanks also to the mods and Mrs. AL for their work in the background. 30 pounds. Thank you so much. Yes. Ian B, my mother-in-law sadly died from cancer, so please accept this to help future sufferers. Really sorry to hear that, and thank you so much for your £25 donation. Richard Taylor with £25, a fantastic cause. Hope this helps a bit. It certainly will. Connie and Karen with a £10, thank you. Good luck, guys. Not that you will need it. Uh, Nick Meller, I haven't got much money, but I've had to donate something for such a great cause. Awesome show. Five pounds. Thank you so much, Nick. Like we said, every single little bit really does help, and it's yeah. going to change so many lives. So. Don't panic about how much you donate, yeah, guys, we, please. We know that it's, you know, it is hard times and things at the moment, so literally, you know, anything is amazing. Thank you. Um, Louis Gordo, I yeah. hope I've pronounced that correctly, with I'd 10 with euros. That. Thank you. Um, Dave Hustwaite. Great charity, happy to support, £25, thank you so much. Northern DJ, this is from the disabled community. Sorry guys, all I could afford. Thank you so much for that generous £10 donation. Don't apologise mate, yeah. thank you very much. Honestly, every single tiny bit is so appreciated. 
Um, Paul Hughes, keep up the great work, everyone. Fifty pounds, wowzers, thank you. Uh, Brendan T, hi guys, watching from Ireland every Sunday morning. Love the show. Good luck with the fundraiser. Two hundred and fifty, or uh, yeah, that's yes, fundraiser, isn't it? Had to wow. question myself for a second. Then, my goodness me, thank broke you. Eleven thousand dollars. Have oh, we really? My word. We've just oh, broke eleven thousand dollars with that insane. donation. Insane. Oh my goodness gracious me. Airline is live, guys. Honestly, you just knock us out of the park every yeah. single year we just think should we we maybe can't do that well this year and we always get proven wrong we this always is proven way wrong. more than we ever ever imagined so honestly thank you so so much from the bottom of our hearts yeah cheers um, everyone. let's give them all a bing bong shall yeah, we for that let's yeah. go for it there we go <laughs> that's all for you guys thank you so much for yeah. uh, the incredible support that's coming in if you're just tuning in you're watching Airliners Live. It is a Sunday big show, but it is the yearly Airliners Live 2022 fundraiser. You're all smashing it. The funds are coming in. We're raising a huge amount for charity here, bringing the aviation community together and uh, doing something great with it. And uh, you guys are right behind it. Um, yeah. We've had another donation coming from Chris Abigail. Thank you so much, Chris, for your very generous donation. And Matthew as well, thank you for your donation. Saying, Great work, guys. Uh, we are probably all affected in our lifetime with the passing of loved ones. I know I'm one. Uh, yes, Matthew, and I hope that um, eventually with all the fundraising that only we're doing, everyone is doing, um, that they can eventually put an end to it. Um, it, it, needs, it needs all the money that they can get at this moment in time but yep. guys thank you so much for, for all of your donations we're literally yeah. approaching double what our goal was that's <laughs> yeah. crazy 185% crazy. unbelievable so that's 13,200 with gift aid guys gift aid makes a huge huge difference so don't forget if you're a UK taxpayer and you've not donated yet make sure you click the gift aid button in a couple of minutes time um, we need to go through our sponsors um, and give them a massive shout out on the show we so we'll do yeah that in a moment uh, we'll get this aircraft out uh, which is tap uh, portugal um, and uh, we will jump into the sponsors list guys still an hour and a half of the show to go as well plenty of fundraising still to do No, the DJ saying, "What's the chances of fifteen thousand? Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, I'm you know optimistic, but <laughs> I mean, I think we've really? already smashed what we wanted to smash. Exactly, guys. it's at the point where we're very happy with how much we've raised. Oh, beyond happy, yeah. ecstatic. <laughs> Someone so, in the chat, by the way, has said that I should be the one to shave the heads. <laughs> Oh, I'm not yeah. sure about that. Although saying that, in the later years, obviously with COVID and everything, my dad couldn't get himself to the barbers, so I did order a, 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 a kit and yeah. became quite okay. uh, quite good at well, the old I was, haircut, uh, I was so, also uh, shaving my dad's hair as well. Well, there, at one you, point. Go. there so, you go. There you go. Was that, was that your, your tea towel uh, ordeal? That was well. a bit of a dodgy picture because <laughs> you remember, you, my dad lives by himself, so you're allowed like someone to go mm, over and visit. Support, where, yeah. But and at that time, they weren't giving masks out. So we basically just um, ended up going, well, we need to be kind of careful, so we should probably sort something up. So that was me cutting his hair back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey. There you go, guys. For those of you uh, who haven't seen it, there's me uh, cutting, cutting hair. With a lockdown cut yourself as well. Yeah. Just amazing. What an amazing total. Wow, it is insane. Got this EasyJet Neo uh, next in. Uh, I don't know where she's in from. Let's have a look. Mate, I, ju I just feel completely overwhelmed with this. I, it, it, I don't it's, know it's where I'm looking, like, what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's hard to... I mean, there's always, like, new donations to read. Um, this is it for Palma de Mallorca. <laughs> yeah, thank you, everyone. I don't even know how this is possible. Like, we could raise this much money. Like, I can't believe it's it. Just, Unbelievable. It's nuts, isn't it? Yeah. It's um, going to do so much good to so many people, honestly. Yeah, it yeah. really, really will. I kind of struggle with like saying thank you to everyone anyway because you want to show the gratitude to everyone who's donated, but 
it's just impossible isn't it? This yeah, point, there like, aren't any words really yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to describe how we feel <laughs> at the moment it's beyond what we could have ever ever imagined yeah. Yeah. welcome to hairliners live there's a new message yeah. coming into the that's chat that's a new special show there coming yeah, I, think. I think it is um, should we make it members only a fee 50 on the taxi let's see if we can get through some of these uh, sponsors so yeah. um, if you donate between 10 and 24 pounds you'll be entered into the ten pound prize draw, um, and uh, first person donating prizes was Welshy Kev, and he sent in um, some models which you guys can win, all one of four hundred scale. Um, and uh, Welshy Kev, there he is in the chat. Uh, show some love in the chat for all of our community sponsors, especially guys. Yeah, Welshy Kev there, and he's donated an Emirates A three eighty model. A Qantas 747 model, an Etihad A350 1000 model, and our personal favourite, a Virgin Atlantic 747 400 G Vast model, all sent in by Welshy Kev. So thank you very much, mate, for that. All really high quality die cast models, them. Like they are, they're I, excellent. I, yeah. Um, Tom and Partner sending in a uh, £20 Airliners Live merchandise store voucher. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, doors to Manual, who have just opened their The Deck 747 at Barton Aerodrome. We did a film with them um, a few weeks ago. Um, big shout out to those guys. Go and check them out. Um, they have donated a £20 voucher for their experience and they've also donated a £30 voucher for their experience as well guys so make sure you go and support um, oh I apologise no those don't, those are for their merchandise store guys so that's a £20 and a £30 merchandise store voucher so you can buy lots of aircraft memorabilia from doors to manual so a massive shout out to Drew and the team for that um, mods I know you're really 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 busy um, but um, if you could try and get some links in the chat if possible that'd be amazing uh, check out doors to manuals shop if you yeah, want now base just around the corner from us let's be next door to us at, yeah uh, Barton Aerodrome um, we also had an official Emirates A380 one of 400 scale uh, model donated by a very generous viewer at the RVP as well so thank you very much um, and at the Airliners Live office at Barton, um, we are based in the Manchester Flight Sim Centre, guys. And uh, the guys there, Mike and Andy, have very generously donated a 30-minute A320 simulator experience at the Airliners Live headquarters, guys. So come down and enjoy that. And if we're in the office, we will be in there with you enjoying it, guys. Uh, that's a 30-minute voucher donated by the Manchester Flight Sim centre check those guys out john thank you very much mate. i can see you spamming the links dude appreciate it um we have um a one hour full motion a320 simulator experience also an awesome uh simulator experience at simulator adventures in media city uh, they've supported us every year since we met those guys a massive thanks to alan and the team um for supporting the channel again this year um Stuart and Lynn from the Harden Beluga XL Spotters Group, long-term friends of the channel, donating a 16 by 16 inch framed Beluga print, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, thank you to those guys for getting involved with that. Um, sent in by um, the flying architect, David Long, a and in partnership with the Yorkshire Air Museum, a family day pass at the Yorkshire Air Museum. Um, thank you very much to those guys. Um, we also have an official Red Arrows Diecast 1 of 72 scale model, uh, which is donated by ourselves. Um, Henry over in Vancouver. Uh, runs a channel called Jetflix TV, which is a subscription service online where he has lots of uh, old uh, footage and uh, retro footage from back in the day. He's donated one year's Jetflix TV membership to a lucky winner as well. Uh, Noel Phillips, a massive thank you to him, donating a awesome um, hamper of his merchandise, which arrived at my house yesterday. I have been checking it all out. The socks <laughs> are looking 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much, mate, for that support in the channel, Noel. And I know you've shared the charity links as well. Uh, so, Noel, a massive, massive thank you to yeah. you. And we appeared on his uh, most recent video as well, on his you pilot did. vlogs. Yeah, uh, I watched that yesterday. Yeah. Uh, so make sure you go and check that out. 
and uh, finally donated by the Aviation Society is a limited edition Sully glass tumbler, which is a glass tumbler which I believe has um, part of the aircraft that was involved in that on the side of the glass guy. So an awesome, um, an awesome prize there. So that is the ten pound and over prizes. Yeah. Now, would you believe we also have? A twenty-five pound and over category, which I will hand over to Mister B, the yep. Garage MC, to read out those prizes. Now, this is for people who've donated twenty-five pounds and over, um, and um, we'll be reading those prizes out straight after Mister Matt Smith up on the camera doing a really good job. Gets an awesome shot of this Virgin Atlantic A350 departing, you guys. Let's have a quick check-in as well. £11,376.69 on the fundraiser. It keeps going up. Like wow. I said, with the, uh, the last 350, we love the engine sound of these. The Rolls-Royce engines in general sound fantastic, but the 350, especially the 1000, sounds unbelievable. Yes, and if you want to be in with a chance of winning those prizes, guys, if you donate between £10 and £24 or £25 and over, for the big prizes, here we go. Talking of big prizes, we got a big plane on the way out. Zytek on Twitch saying this is the exact plane I flew on from Orlando around a week ago. Awesome, dude. to do it great sound as she climbs up awesome still getting a bit of aviation in here and there guys you can't <laughs> ignore an a350 can you it's pretty windy today as well like out crosswind wasn't yeah it? you've seen it on the arrivals especially and you see that crabbing away from us as well as it climbs out of the airport um right over to brownville for the 25 pound and over prizes yes, this guys. Is the premium prize bracket so if you donate 25 pounds or more you'll automatically be entered into this prize draw uh, assuming you put your name on there as well and yeah chat do not forget to like and share the stream and subscribe to the channel as well click that thumbs up guys let's get as many people in here as we can yes please more than ever please share the stream around if you can share it to even just family members and we're trying to do a real good thing today and raise as much money as possible for an amazing charity that is the christy and doing that amazing work with their uh, cancer support and uh, cancer research as well mm -hmm. uh, and even just sharing the stream even just liking the stream will have a domino effect and you know subsequently we'll raise more money pretty much yeah um 25 pounds and over <laughs> first of all donated by once again the flying architect uh, david long one of our own moderators getting his hands on a um, a 1 to 200 scale die cast g flip virgin atlantic the falcon 747 Oof lovely die cast model is obviously one to two hundred scale so it's big it looks amazing the detail is great and it's the falcon it's that star wars millennium falcon um, special uh then donated by kevin d the man who's in it plenty today as well he's in the chat now uh donating a gemini jets emirates a380 one to two hundred scale model beautiful uh, on this and it's an emirates um dubai expo livery as well uh, you know the, the old one with like the little the text on the side uh, and that was donated a while ago as well a good few months ago then by Kevin Henry um, a airliner's live um, en engraved exclusive GVAS 747 um, uh, tag so we had uh, obviously the, the airliner's live engraved 747 uh, tags which are made from the skin of the um, GVAS GVAS the Virgin Atlantic 747 and this one had a special number on it. It was number 4123. So, in my opinion, in our opinion, it's the most valuable of the, of the whole set. Yeah. He bought it off us, and instead of asking to be shipped to, to him, he just said donate it to charity. So, Amazing. what a guy. Kind. Yeah. Um, Tracy Sellers, another VIP, donating a £50 voucher. She said she wants it to go towards an airliner's live store voucher. So, she sent him £50 and said, make it a store voucher for you guys thanks very much tracy and phil for your donation guys and then the doors to manual with the deck donating a 747 full family tour experience of the deck at uh, barton city airport with uh, up to two adults and up to three children on that family uh, voucher 
where you can go on board, you get a full tour and flight deck access as well of the deck. Then our friends over at manning.co.uk sending over a Retro 51 Mosquito Rollerball Pen and Notebook, notebook Set. Um, obviously our good friends over there do really high quality collector pens in uh, aviation yeah. uh, uh, themes and uh, Martin has one on his desk. It's really, really good quality. I use it all the time. Yeah. At work. A massive shout out to Rich and uh, Kim because not only have they donated that, but they've also helped airliners live so much in the background. Yep. With uh, They were also instrumental in getting us those aviation tags as well. So real good friends of the channel. Yep. Um, and uh, like I uh, said, that's donated by manning.kid.uk. Um, then Yorkshire Aviation Academy, uh, also uh, done through um, David Long, the flying architect, um, donating a 30-minute flight experience at Leeds East Airport. I believe it's a 30-minute flight lesson on board a Piper PA-28. So That's awesome. You get flying, guys. Yeah, actual real-world flight voucher. Uh, with, um, with that prize, ladies and gents, obviously, if you do win that prize and you know that you're not going to be able to attend or you know it's not your thing, yeah. um, just let us know just so that we can redraw it and we'll uh, sort something else out for you. So um, just uh, that's the only prize, I think, in the list, along with the simulator experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know you can't attend or you know it's not your thing on the simulator experiences or the flight experience, uh, please just let us know just so that we can draw it to someone who's going to go and use it. And obviously we will sort another prize out for you. And then last of all, another of the same voucher from Simulator Adventures in Media City, Manchester, with a one-hour full-motion A320 simulator experience as well. Again, amazing simulator. Full-motion A320, really high-quality sim. Um, we've been on it, and it's it's fantastic. So they've donated two of the same voucher, one in each bracket. So if you're in the upper bracket, you've got a higher chance of winning that. Yeah. Um, so um, the fundraiser is going to go on for another week. So it's going to end next week. Although we won't be pushing it and going crazy for it on the live streams, um, we'll leave it open just so you can get donations in if you haven't already. So Yeah, because there may be people who the payday falls differently and stuff like yeah. that. So we always leave it open for two weeks. So it will close yep. a week tomorrow. Um, the page will be closed down a week tomorrow. So... Um, after that page has been closed down, we'll gather everything together and then we will announce when we're going to do the prize draw. Uh, it'll be as soon as possible after the page has been closed yeah, down we, and we'll announce we, it. On. We've set the uh, date for that on the 14th. It's a Wednesday. Okay. So the 14th of September is when we'll do the prize draw. Try and tune into that if you can. If you miss it, you can always watch it back. But then you have two weeks to get in touch uh, to claim your prize. So if you, we read out your name... One, I think. We one said. is it. But if we read out your name, get in touch as soon as possible, um, whether it's live or whether we watch it back, um, and then we can get you the prize to you. And if you don't want it, like Martin said, uh, you can ask for it to be redrawn. If it's not useful to you, um, it's probably better off with someone else. So you don't have to claim every single prize. Yeah. But, um, yes, thank you so much. We're at 192%, guys. Wow. We're so close to... Uh, Unbelievable. 200%. So, oh get into the aviation. Are you much of an aviation fan? Yeah, as an yourself. Artist. Are you not? So, you can say no. It's well, I have to be we'll completely you out. truthful. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a little bit scared of flying. Mm, okay. I say a little bit. I mean a lot. Okay. Um, Unless it's in first I mean... pass on a live flat bed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the uh, the lounge, the departure lounge, and the the free alcohol help there just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, but yeah, it's strange really because, like I said, my dad was just his entire life was aviation. My mum was actually cabin crew as well for many years. Oh so right, okay. A huge kind of aviation background, but somehow I've ended up being completely terrified of flying. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've I've got family in France and things. So I'm used to kind of flying and things. Is it completely my obsession and passion like it was for my dad? Probably not. I don't know if he kind of did a good job of driving me away from that, <laughs> from the sort of constant. Yeah. Um, I mean, he was uh, 16 when he first got his first job at Manchester Airport. He was a, a real kind of, from a very young age, a real um, avi aviation enthusiast. His dad used to take him 
down to see the planes. He said that his favourite plane was the Boeing 707 when he was younger. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then he described a, a school trip that he went on. He was really fortunate when he was about 14 to go on a school trip around Europe. And um, he said that the highlights was just kind of him persuading the teachers to go to any airport or runway that he could possibly um, get get close to really um, so yes he was really from a from a very young age and at 16 school kind of said to him right you know you need to go and get an apprenticeship now perhaps go and be an electrician but he decided that he wasn't up for that so he wrote a, le- a letter to Manchester Airport yeah. um, just basically saying you know these are my talents this is what I know please give me a job and um, they did give him a job so wow. that kind of worked out really well for him and he was essentially admin and tea boy really kind yeah. of like making cups of tea and things like that um, and through the years, just through sheer passion, determination, everything like that, worked his way up to um, general airfield manager. Um, oh, that's so a big, that's uh, big quite a journey. Climb, it is, yeah, isn't it? quite a journey. Um, and then, as you guys know, sort of, he then decided to leave Manchester Airport. He took the the jump, just like you guys did, and kind of packed in his his job um, and followed his passion and went into aviation consultancy. And he was lucky enough to kind of travel all the way around the world doing things like um, setting up airports teaching everything aviation So what, um, um, because that's a little bit that we've not really touched on too much on the channel mm. so when he was running his own business and he was going around to all of his airports what what was he responsible for and what was he giving to these people as much as you know obviously yeah as much as I know of I mean I was sort of I guess teenage years when uh, when this sort of really kicked off he went everywhere from sort of South Sudan, Iraq, Iran, Dubai, literally everywhere you can think of, the Maldives, um, helped set up many new airports. They helped um, certify Dubai Airport. Um, they taught everything from, you know, runway airfield safety to terrorism to everything kind of aviation yeah. that that kind of that and just all just drawing on his knowledge from Manchester. Yeah, yeah, immense knowledge. Um, he set that up with his business partner, Debbie Riley, who I'm you often hear the dulcet tones of uh, who also does the commentary above us um and yeah really really successful business that enabled him to travel all the way around the world just doing what he loved really you know yes it was a job yes it was hard work but ultimately you know he loved doing it it was his passion um and that was right up until until the very end really um he was diagnosed when he was 57 um and sadly at that point he had to stop traveling but he was still kind of there on his laptop you know doing the courses and and the business still runs today um and that's testament really to to my dad and his business partner passion for for aviation and everything like that so an entire lifetime yeah. in in aviation in what he loved um which obviously includes the runway visitor park where we are today and of course probably his biggest accolade was getting the concord it was um it was and that's something that you know I remember as a teenager, um, he handed me these pieces of paper and said, I need you to walk around the viewing park. It's a petition to say that we want to bring Concord to Manchester. <laughs> so you've got to walk around the viewing park and ask everybody you can see to sign this petition. So I was like, all right, Dad, I think I was about 14 at the time. And um, everybody thought he was completely crackers, you know, getting a concourse to come to Manchester, really, of all the places. But he was absolutely adamant it had to be done. Um, And so that's what he did. He did presentations, obviously, to British Airways. um, And amongst all the competition that he had to get a concourse, somehow he managed to pull it out the bag. And so much so, they actually said to him, uh, which one would you like? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even a, we'll just give you any concord. Just give you one, you know, give him a choice. Yeah. He was so persuasive that uh, they said, well, yeah, which concord would you like? And of course, he chose the flagship. He went for GBOAC and, uh, and here it is today in yep. Manchester. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people in the community have had a look around it, been on board it. We've been fortunate to do a huge amount of filming in there. And um, yeah, I'd say that's probably testament to Peter and his legacy of the RVP because he he had a huge passion for the RVP as well, wasn't mm. it? It's kind of like a, a kind of side project yeah. for him where he just always wanted everyone to have a great experience and he loved to share that with everybody here and getting the events on and the classic mm-hmm. car shows and all that sort of things. Absolutely, yeah. It was something that he really loved doing, all those different events. He just, like you said, wanted everybody to share and enjoy in the same passion that he had, which was aviation, yeah. you know. So anything that he could put on, um, you know, 
he would he would do so and he took great joy in doing so as well yeah yeah, yeah and one of his last uh, achievements here at the rvp was this tower yeah. and obviously not just for us but also for the commentary system that they provide on weekends mm -hmm. uh, yeah which is really we've had people coming up to us um when we've been leaving the stream thinking that we're the people doing the commentary <laughs> yeah and they've said oh thank you so much like i've always wanted to know where they're going and what they're doing and you've been able to help me and i have to just say oh uh, thank you, but it's the guys upstairs. <laughs> you don't want to take credit for it. <laughs> I don't want to take credit. Yeah. And it's just like, you, you do, but you also want to like make them feel happy that they've come over and said yeah. hello. And um, yeah, a lot of people do just say they, they love it, and yeah. um, it's, it was, it's improved the, the, part. the day before. My dad went into hospital, and you know, sadly, we lost him and everything. He spent the day here. He was upstairs yeah. doing the commentary, and um, mm. his grandson, my son, who is set, just turned seven, used to go upstairs with him, and they used to sit together and, and yeah. have a great time doing the commentary and um, well he was showing me um a book he had for him yeah. with all of the regis yeah in it. yeah my dad of course of course of course went and bought him a what he called the plane spotting book that yeah. has all the registration numbers and it's still got pride place in my my little or not so little boy's bedroom um that you know that his granddad bought him and dad said oh yes when i was a little boy i used to go with my ruler and my pencil we'll and every time i saw it and i used to <laughs> cross the line underneath <laughs> it when i saw the plane so uh, so yeah he was very much and even my daughter like i said she's two but they used to park up just in front of where, where we are here on the little camp chairs and uh, and sit and watch the planes and he'd say to my daughter oh yes this is this and <laughs> you know she'd go oh plane and yeah he was fanatical so about do you, aviation. Has, um, has his grandson your son picked up the bug then from that do you know i'd say my daughter more so than oh, my right, son okay. yeah my, my son's a bit of an avid footballer um but my daughter is constantly anytime she sees the plane oh plane 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 <laughs> so, uh, so yeah so that there's still hope that the the family legacy will uh, maybe pass through her a little bit so yeah. um so there we go amazing what an awesome achievement and we've we've said a few times on the channel that i think when you get to the point where you've had your time and, and you're on the way if you've had half of the achievements mm -hmm. that peter's had in his life you'd be happy wouldn't you yeah. that's it i mean he was 64 when he passed which is no age at all it's is not, it no, you know no. um and he was devastated as he would be he said he had so much more to give he had so many more ideas of course a man like him never runs out of ideas no. <laughs> you know there's always something that he wants to do thing. you know um but he said he was felt rich really fortunate he'd had a really good life he'd experienced yeah. so many things his list of achievements is just beyond incredible um yeah. so yeah He's, very fortunate uh, very very proud daughter good good and uh like I say, he's uh, not just helped out around the park, he's obviously got involved with all different communities, got involved with us, and it's just, like you say, he's just affected people indirectly, directly, all around the, AV, yeah. uh, the RVP, 100%. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's great, and um, it's great that we can raise some money, money for him as well um, and get that memorial, which thanks to um the amazing work that you guys did before we came on board and the community getting behind it as well um peter will now have that permanent memorial mm. at uh, yeah. at the christie which is a huge achievement absolutely and, uh, and yeah. like we said you know that that money obviously not only does that mean that we can get the memorial but that money is just going to go to so much good use yeah. um the Christie are, are absolutely phenomenal in all the work that they do. There's people that travel from all over the place um, to come and be treated by the Christies. Um, but also on the research side, they do some incredible research as well, hopefully to get us just a little bit closer so that, you know, one day at some point, hopefully it won't have to be on the agenda anymore because it's... It's not mu as much as a thing as it is now, you yeah, know. Um, hopefully so. Obviously, they've made great strides in cancer research and things in that, you know, a lot of people are li either living a lot longer or uh, being cured and going into remission that weren't doing so before. Um, but obviously, still, there's a, there's a long way to go. There until is. Until we can there completely is. cross it out. And uh, I'm just uh, working in the background to pull up... Um, an email from the guys at the Christie who've uh, explained how that money is going to be used. So just mm -hmm. bear with me, folks, on that. Next thing we've got Ryan now. Again, a big, massive shout out to Matt up on the camera doing a great job keeping the show rolling today. Um, and uh, 
thanks very much to all of you guys as well. Yeah, thank you so much for all your lovely comments as well. I have got them here reading on my phone as, as we're going along. It's really, really lovely of you, so thank you so much. Where is it? Somebody said that I uh, should have a book written on my dad. Funnily enough, it's something I was thinking about the other day that perhaps he, he should have written a book on, uh, <laughs> yeah. on all of his achievements and things. I, but, I think it's um, a story that a lot of people would like to read. Yeah. Because I bet there's some things in there that uh, some pretty funny stories that he's got oh, tucked absolutely. away. Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, I stumbled across the other day a few photos, uh, some random photos of his time at the airport and pe him with people like Tony Blair, Bobby Charlton, Sir <laughs> Alex Ferguson. And I was thinking, blimey, you know, <laughs> local celebrity sort of thing. All so, these people uh, he's met. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. Um. <laughs> 12k by the end of the stream, question mark, says <laughs> Daniel, uh, Samuel, sorry, yes, we are. Um, Getting very, very close to that number, um, quite scaringly. Is, uh, yeah, oh we're getting very, very, very close to it. We are at £11,715 as we go into the last hour of today's show. Um, Almost at 200%. Yes. Gosh. That's crazy. I don't think we've ever done 200%. That's just amazing. 200% on, uh, on the show before. Well, thanks very much for everyone getting involved and getting behind it this year. As we say, loads of prizes to be won. Um, the fundraising page is going to be open until um, a week tomorrow. Um, so plenty of time to get donations in, obviously, if your payday falls slightly differently. And as we said before, if you cannot afford to donate, that's absolutely fine. Uh, keep involved in the chat. Keep sharing the page. And that's a great way to, uh, to help us. Um, Let's have a look through your chat messages then. Uh, massive thanks to all the mods um, and Mrs. Airliners Live for keeping the totals in the chat and the links for our sponsors in the chat as well. Wayne saying excellent camera work for Matt Smith up on the camera. Thank you very much again to Matt for um, enabling me and Andy to be downstairs. Um, and Will P saying such a brave daughter at Sophie. Um, I'm in tears listening to that story about your brilliant dad, Peter. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, that's from long-term viewer, Will P. Um, and yeah, there's a message someone could write a book about. Uh, <laughs> a piece. It certainly could. Certainly yeah. could. And uh, Paul just saying thanks so much for sharing the, uh, the memories of Peter as well. Oh, thank you for listening. But, Not that you've had much choice, to be fair. I've been here <laughs> halfing away for the last couple of hours yeah. now. <laughs> but... Uh, that's amazing. Um, and Sasha just saying, um, I want Sophie to know that I'm thinking of her and the family. Uh, so pleased that we were able to help with the dad's memorial. Thank you so much, like I said, it, it means the absolute world to us. It really, really does. Um, as you can hear from some of the stories of my dad, um, he was a man that sort of has left behind a very big legacy. And um, I know that, uh, you know, sadly, he spent a huge amount of the last seven and a half years in the Christie Hospital. Mm -hmm. um, I know that having that little piece of him on the, the Tree of Hope would mean the world to it him. Really so, would. Um, yeah. so we're really appreciative of that. One of the noisiest planes you're going to see today, vacating the Aer Lingus Regional. Yeah, we have got the aircraft audio turned quite a lot down today because usually we're kind of fighting with the aircraft audio, which we don't mind. You know, we like the jets being loud and the props being even louder. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, today, I think the focus is very much on the fundraiser, which is the one in a year opportunity that we can do such a thing. Obviously, we don't do any other um, fundraisers throughout the year we like to put all our efforts into one big fundraiser and this year we've chose the Christie's um, based here at Manchester um, Cancer Research and uh, Support um, Foundation and a, a really really good one at that as well uh, obviously in memory of um, Peter Hampson and for those just joining us the, the guest we have on today is Sophie Hampson as well Hello. who was uh, Peter's daughter and it, she was actually instrumental in starting this uh, fundraiser because before we'd started ours, she already had her own fundraiser on the same platform, raising money for the same charity in memory of your dad. And 
yours must be on. It's on. It's five thousand, is it now? Yeah, 4, five thousand two hundred thirty, I think. Which um, great. we managed to raise through yeah. sort of friends and family, and like I said, we've raised just under. 2000 as well from doing the, the charity stand here at the Viewing Park at the events over the last couple of months as well so um, it's upstairs. so yeah so thanks to your incredible generosity of the, your community we have absolutely smashed yep. the, uh, the, the the target that yep. we had of 15,000 15,000 um, was like the proper stretch target yeah wasn't it? It was I like, mean like I said we were we were in it for the long run we thought this was going to take years we were trying to come up with loads of different ideas I yep. mean I want to be be clear that obviously we don't intend to just completely stop our fundraising now. You know, it's yeah. not a case of well, we've got the the leaf and so that's our bit done sort of thing. Um, we we will for for many years continue to to fundraise for Christie's because we believe in the cause and because. Yeah. You know, obviously the hospital itself provided my dad with so, so much. They gave us an extra seven and a half years with him, which we managed to have so many incredible memories. He managed to achieve so much in those seven and a half years. Yeah. Um, and yeah, forever, forever indebted to yeah, him. Yeah, I'd say, I mean, I don't think we would have ever met Peter if it wasn't mm. for the Christie either. Mm. So that's, uh, yeah, come to think of it. He, the, he, he helped a lot of people there by... Uh, doing such great work looking after him yeah. um, we have had a statement come in from the Christie they've uh, sent that through via email um, and uh, they just want to say um, thank you so much for choosing um, to support the Christie charity um, choosing to support the Christie is extremely important to our patients their families and careers uh, carers sorry and our staff uh, for those of you who are not aware uh, the Christie is the largest single-site cancer centre in Europe and we treat more than 60,000 patients in a year. Uh, we are the first specialist trust in the country to be given the CQC highest accolade of outstanding um, twice and have been ranked as the most technolo uh, technologically advanced cancer centre outside of North America. Uh, the Christie has been at the forefront of over a hundred years of pioneering cancer research breakthroughs, uh, which I'm sure you'll agree is impressive. Um, the Christie charity has a history of over a hundred years supporting the Christie Hospital. Uh, in fact, the Christie Hospital was born from charitable donations. Um, we exist to provide uh, enhanced services over and above what the NHS funds. Um, gifts from our supporters really do make a huge difference to the care and treatment that the Christie is able to provide to its patients and families. Thanks to funds raised, we provide life-saving research, the latest high-tech equipment and support services that help us make cancer treatments more effective and a little easier for our patients. We simply could not achieve everything we do at the Christie without the help of our supporters. Uh, we are never complacent with our achievements and we always have plans in the pipeline to further improve um, our services. There are four areas uh, that the charity supports. The first um, is supporting care and treatment. Through donations, you can um, fund a new 4D CT scanner, uh, which will bring clearer imaging and pioneering surgeries to the Christie. Um, it will be the first of its generation in the UK and another pioneering piece of equipment for patients. Uh, we will also redevelop our CT department to provide the very best for our patients, which is at the heart of everything we do. We also fund research. An example of this um, is a breast cancer research project we are currently running. Each year, around 50,000 women are diagnosed uh, with breast cancer in the UK, and that includes uh, my mum as well. Um, since 2004, five-year um, survival um, has increased significantly for breast cancer, and in the greater Manchester region, over 85 out of 100 women diagnosed will survive at least five years, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, Greater Manchester now has a better five-year survival rate for breast cancer than England as a whole. Uh, this is thanks to breakthrough in research that has led uh, to the development of new and innovative therapies for breast cancer patients. However, without charitable support, these breakthroughs would simply not have happened and we must keep this momentum going to save more lives in the future. 
Um, we also fund education. We are extremely proud to have funded our School of uh, Oncology. Uh, this is a dedicated and internationally renowned facility which develops and delivers education and training to all members of the healthcare team. Uh, finally, we fund extra patient services. Um, this can be a broad range of services, but one area is our art room. A cancer diagnosis can not only be des des uh, devastating physically, uh, but is emotionally draining too, and it's these silent side effects which are often overlooked. This is why the art room service at the Christie is so important. Many of our patients say that hoping, uh, coping with the emotional effects of cancer can be as hard, if not harder, uh, than dealing with the physical effects of treatment, such as nausea and fatigue. In fact, long after treatment has finished, many patients will still report feeling anxious. Uh, the art room at the Christie has helped many of our patients cope with these effects. They may never have picked up a brush before, um, but it's somewhere they can escape and be with others who understand what they are going through. It does something medicine cannot do, and uh, it helps them to feel normal again. Uh, by supporting us through your event, you are helping to make a real difference to cancer patients, both now and in the future. And thank you so much from your, uh, for your support. Uh, that statement coming in uh, from the team at the Christie, who were uh, extremely grateful um, for the help that um, we've been able to provide on this fundraiser, guys. And uh, as you see, there are lots and lots of areas um, in which your money is going to be used to really better the life of those dealing with cancer. And hopefully the research will reduce the amount of people that have to go through that as well. So a massive thank you very much to uh, Anna uh, from the Christie, who's worked with not only us, but also yourself yeah. uh, behind the scenes to link up our money with your money as well. Mm -hmm. I've got two big announcements to make <laughs> the first one is a bit obvious we've smashed through 200 percent on the just giving fundraiser right and i'm specifying just giving fundraiser because there's more to it right there's this another thing that's happened right hang on i'll get the name uh rocket wolf 2 on switch i seen what you did and i've been spending the last sort of 10 15 minutes just making sure it's all good and I'm pretty sure it is made a donation right okay on Twitch now the thing about Twitch is uh, we have a way to make direct donations to us personally as a channel and the only reason, way to see that is like a bot that posts a link in the chat um, and it's on an automatic timer and if I'm honest like we should have turned that off but it was still there so he, he clicked that assuming it was to donate to okay. the, the channel so he's accidentally done it to that, but it's just gone to our PayPal, so we can then just forward it on to yeah, the fundraiser. I, I to, to be clear, PayPal will take some fees from that, guys. I want you. I want to be completely clear yeah, on yeah. that. We'll, we'll give like we whatever will, uh, we have of that and yeah. then give it directly to that. Um, the amount? Uh, do you know how much it is? I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, uh, I've had to like get the mods to confirm I'm reading this right. <laughs> Jesus. Three thousand pounds he donated. <laughs> three, Rocket Wolf. Rocket Wolf donated three thousand oh, pounds. Can my. you tell me why my Twitch chat is not full of pog champs at the moment, guys? <laughs> can you please just spam they, the chat? They wouldn't have seen that though, because it went directly to us. It wasn't like the a Twitch chat won't have seen it. No, because he just donated it, didn't say anything, and just went, Oh, can you make sure that goes to the Christie? Mate, what an incredible... Oh, my word. What an incredible donation, mate. That Did you mean to do insane. that? <laughs> Have you accidentally clicked an extra zero on that? <laughs> so, obviously, people in the Twitch chat haven't been notified. Like, it's not like a super chat where you get a notification. It's like our direct link to us personally. I'm a little bit worried to me. <laughs> Did he mean to do that? That's a huge amount of Apparently money. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Let's, is insane. Oh Let's my wait. word! I very much meant to do that. Says <gasps> Rocket Wolf. Oh my goodness! So I to, Thank you. I was making sure. First of all, it was intended for the fundraiser because maybe he might have yes. just want you know, and he, he did. And also that that is the right amount, and I'm not <laughs> I'm not dreaming. So that actually so takes that's three k on top of. On top of what we've raised, <gasps> yeah. so we're now at fifteen thousand oh pounds word. on so, Airliners Live. As Martin <laughs> said, with a donation like that, I think PayPal takes some fees. Yes, and just to be clear as well, just I know uh, Rocket Wolf for the huge generous That's donation. I uh, 
we need to be very careful with donations coming in like that. We will leave it in the account to make sure. I'm sure there won't be, and I really do appreciate it. But the, just to make sure there's no chargebacks or anything like that. And as soon as that process is cleared out, we will send that money straight on That's it. Wow. to the Christie. And, and I'm sure you did send it in in good faith, mate. And thank you so much for that very generous donation. Uh, there are some people... stories that come out of Twitch where yeah, I've heard you that, need but... to be very careful. But thank you so much, mate, for, for doing that. That's, that's can... incredible. So I just worked out the total from the airliners plus the stuff that we'd done on the side. And that's not including that donation. Should yep. I tell you how much? Yes. Just over nineteen thousand pounds. <laughs> and is that excluding the That's gift aid? Ex- uh, I guess so. It will be because it's so, another. Yeah. yeah, if you just um, use that number, I have just yeah. used that number. So you'll on have the top. gift aid on yours. Oh my goodness! Uh, so me. the gift aid total on ours is two and a half, nearly. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so, you, so that's it's well over plus. twenty thousand yeah. pounds that we've raised in total for the yeah. Christies, which yeah. is just, I just yeah. Oh that. my word! I'm totally speechless. Bear in mind, last I mean, last year we raised what was it, seven and a half, and that was also with the Aviation Society's help as well. And then obviously Aviation Society this year raised even more than last year. <laughs> and uh, puts in the chat, Lee Davis says, can anyone check Matt's not fell off the roof? <laughs> 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 he's still there. He's doing a great job. Yeah, a huge shout out to you, Matt. Look, Matt, your camera work's been really, really good. Even um, David Long put in the mod chat. He was on the camera because he's doing a really good job. It's uh, mod Matt. Yeah. He's, uh, it's not easy, trust me. And, and also, Matt is, honestly, I just want to say, and we appreciate all our moderators, but Matt, Whenever we send him a message or whenever we need a hand with something, he's always there. Mate. He just he he's says every I, I single time. He can, he can be there if he's there and, he, and he's like, yeah, absolutely no problem. Mate. Yeah. And you mentioned, do you need anything for the charity show? I said, oh, is there any chance you can do a bit on the camera to let me and Andy do the presenting? Mate, I'll do the whole show on the camera. Like, what a guy! What a guy! Paul Davies says Mark three razor territory for the boys now. <laughs> <laughs> it is getting a, bit, getting a bit close to that. Oh dear. Uh, Someone's just asked, um, can you ask Sophie if there's a memorial plaque dedicated to peace at the RVP? There isn't currently. Um, however, I'm led to believe that there may be something on the horizon. That'd be excellent. And um, we'll, of course, keep you guys up to date with, uh, uh, with any of that. Yeah. Um, but again, a huge, huge thank you. And we'll give him a bing bong as well. Rocket Wolf on Twitch with the three thousand wow. pound donation coming in for charity. Unbelievable, mate! Thank you so much for yeah, that. Thank you, Rocket Wolf. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say to you, mate. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, Fez, I say I'm so glad I didn't uh, say I'll fully <laughs> shave my head for fifteen k. I seen someone in the chat. I, can't, I think it's Wayne said uh, 15k airline is live tattoos yeah john <laughs> I'm glad, I, glad i didn't agree to something like that uh, john fezzer you've got access to our twitch account can you please gift rocket wolf six months of airline is live vip membership from the channel please if you've got access to do that if you can do that yeah. thank you so much mate and anyone who's on twitter as well or youtube twitter especially can you please give the stream a share ladies and gents this is like monumental like occasions especially here on the channel um i'd love to spread the word of how much we've raised as a community and really get the message out there and just i don't know really celebrate this moment it's yeah. insane i just can't believe it i genuinely can't i'm just so speechless yeah and rocky wolf says just a bit of help to a great cause dude i don't think you can call that just a bit of help man. yeah that is so insane that's unbelievable yeah well make sure you defo in the uh <laughs> the, in the prize draw <laughs> <laughs> yeah better make sure we remember yeah. his name yeah, yeah yeah amazing before you forget because he's not on the list but i mean uh, also on a, i know i'm just giving you can also add an offline donations thing so we can technically add it to that or i yes. think the best way probably would be just to to just move the money from paypal to there and there it is six months of membership for rocket wolf on the channel as well thanks john for doing and a massive shout out to john as well because he's yeah. been smashing it behind the scenes today as is mrs airline is live uh, keeping us up to date in yeah. the chat and also with total. shout out to john and henry as well because they both gave up their super chats on their streams uh, which is a big slice of their income um, so basically they were doing the, their streams essentially for free you know like people could still become members but that was just a small amount 
and um, for their whole show so Henry's show on Thursday and Fez's show on Monday entirely no super chats and the whole time they were just raising money and that was also a big slice of, of the fundraising total is because of them two guys Henry Tenby our airline is live Vancouver uh, host and also John Fezzer as well the super mod himself yeah. it's just uh, honestly it's one of those that when you raise money for charity you think oh great you know super we're raising money for charity but I think when you really think about the lives that this will change um, I mean obviously this is incredibly close to me but if you'd said to me eight years ago Christy I would have said oh fantastic you know great charity but then when it comes so close to home and it actually ends up being somebody that you love who needs that treatment and the Christie's is one of those really bittersweet places to be that you don't want to be there because you so desperately don't want to have to yeah. be going through that with somebody that they're having treatment for cancer but at the same time you know that you are in one of the best places in the world for that treatment treatment yeah the, these are real people you know this is somebody's mum someone's dad someone's daughter someone's sister that are having this treatment um and obviously the research that they do as well so i cannot thank you enough honestly i've got goosebumps all over i it's just feel strange. so emotional i just think it's amazing i'm um, really glad i'm really glad it's done well because um and i do want to give a shout out as well going slightly off topic but i definitely um i definitely think it's worth a mention um now we on the last charity live show um airliners live had a discussion in the background we knew that um that virgin money giving was going to be closing down and um because of that we knew that we could only support one charity uh moving forward and what we thought was well let's just partner up with a charity that do great things for the channel they do great things for the community um, and obviously the wider population as well and that was um, cancer uh, Macmillan Cancer Support a uh, good friend of ours John Rulo who uh, looks after us at Macmillan um, we partnered up with them um, at the big after the last charity live show and we said because they came in actually to help us at the last minute and um, because we didn't have feedback from one of the other charities uh, Macmillan steps in again and we raised some money for those guys and he's always so helpful and this was going to be the first year of partnership with Macmillan and Airliners Live and we were ready for that. Then obviously we lost Peter and we started to start asking some questions and it's like well Peter got so much help from the Christie and what do we do like is there any way we can split the money that we raise with Macmillan because we've made this commitment to Macmillan um, and half with with sophie's fundraiser and we thought it's going to get really complicated with prizes and stuff and um i think we must have spoke about this on the stream at some point because john phoned me um and we had a chat in the office and um he just said mate do not even think about it he said give all the money to the christie and if there's anything that i can do to help you in the background to get things done to get things ready if you need anything let me know and will help you out with that as well so even though the money wasn't going to them he was still there still ready to help and um and he said look i know you're in a position where we've made this agreement don't even think about it support the christian and, and that's that really just kind. i just want to say a massive thanks to john because it made um made us obviously be able to very easily just support the charity which i think we wanted to support this year and we really wanted to get behind and um we weren't made to feel awkward about not honoring that obligation or anything he, he just said do what you need to do and raise as much money as you possibly can and if there's anything we can do to help we'll be right there so let's get some love in the chat for uh, Macmillan as well guys because yeah, they do super. some awesome awesome work yeah. and, I think uh, ultimately everybody is just united against the fight they against are. cancer That's aren't true. they you yeah, know, yeah, we yeah, all true. just kind of want the same so yeah massive, same thing massive so thank you and uh Thanks very much to you guys. Cobbler's going in with a premium economy membership, brand new VIP. Thank you, dude, for coming in amongst all of this today. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah, and last year, obviously, we had the pleasure of raising money for not only Macmillan Cancer Support, but also Thames Hospice, because, I mean, on the topic of uh, cancer, we actually lost one of our good channel friends and channel moderators, uh, Julie, Yeah. Uh, last year. Uh, I think it was April last year um, to cancer. And, you know, similar to this year with Peter, you know, we last year we wanted to do, raise money in memory of her and uh, it just shows how how many people are affected you know like if we've been that affected already you know and yeah 
you know. So definitely cancer uh, support and cancer research are good um, funds to, you know, good uh, charities to raise money for. And uh, like we said, we want to do our best to yeah. mitigate the, the damages of, of cancer going forward. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, we couldn't do it without you guys. The community at Airliners Live, like I said, every year just blows us away, guys. Um, we started off with the very first charity stream over on the left mound with me and Charlie yeah. um, raising money for the Alzheimer's Society. Did you do like a Christie giveaway? Then. You did like a giveaway on the mound, didn't we you? Did. Or something, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. And ever since then, we've done one every single year, and it's been the proudest moment of the channel. And every year we raise more and more and more and as the community grows more and more people get behind it and you guys just absolutely smash it every yeah. single year we, 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 we're always overwhelmed with the support every single time yeah. and it's putting the community to really good use as well um, because obviously we can all do our individual fundraisers but together we can really make a massive massive difference and uh, not only are we fortunate enough the airline is live allows me and Andy to do what we love full time every week honestly we cannot tell you how much we treasure that guys but we can also do something as important as this as well and, and raise some serious serious money for charity and um, yeah we couldn't do it without you guys so let's get some airline is live hearts in the chat for the thank community you. for everyone who's Honestly, got involved thank you so so much and uh, I know my mum wanted to, me to say thank you on her behalf today my mum and dad met when they were 18 they were together for wow. a really really wow. long time um, and so you can imagine a, a character like my dad has, has left quite a, a hole in, in our household but um, she is absolutely blown away by the support you know like I said we'd kind of had a chat when you know Martin and I bounced this idea and sort of said oh you know wouldn't it be great if you know we could maybe raise a few thousand pounds maybe three perhaps four thinking that might be a little bit ambitious um, and so I, I messaged her earlier this morning with the update and uh, like me she was pretty speechless she was just like oh please say thank you from yeah. my behalf because it's just incredible it really really is yeah it's been uh, it's been an absolutely awesome day of fundraising guys as we pull into the last 40 minutes of the fundraiser today uh, the live show we we were surprised when we hit six grand on the midweek show yeah, and we thought nice. maybe we'll put another couple of grand on top we yeah. spoke about we were only a couple of grand short of getting the memorial and i was like and i said to my dad my dad came over yesterday and oh if we can just hit the the memorial i'll be really happy with that yeah and guys we've doubled, <laughs> we've doubled. smashed it completely <laughs> well over twenty thousand pounds in total yeah. between yours and, and our fundraising which is yeah. Yeah. unbelievable yeah it's uh, what a what a day what a day we've got a lot of donations to catch up on i don't know if you yeah. want to read them out now and uh, there's not much going on on the ground there's not much. so we've got this circus on the roll we'll get that out and then uh, yeah, yeah of course we can uh, catch up with our with our donations and again rocket wolf mate what you've done for the stream this year is absolutely incredible thank you so much and thank you to everybody even if you've sent a quid in mm. 10 pound five pound every little has helped guys and what a total what a total Great sound then, Turkish A321neo heading back to Istanbul, Turkish flight 1994. Right, okay, where were we up to? Um, I think we got up to Matthew Hayes, I think was the last one we read. Um, unless you read somewhere I nipped out, I don't think you did, did you? I don't think I did, no. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll read a couple out and then if you want to read some out as well, and then maybe Martin can finish up. Mm -hmm. Um, so, I don't know how to pronounce this, uh, Liu uh, and Kitty Dehan. Um, you're doing a great job at raising money for the Christie. Uh, double the amount in the afternoon with a £10 donation. Thank you. Sav with a £50 say, keep up the fantastic word, uh, work for such a brilliant cause. Lost my mum uh, to brain cancer back in 2016. Sorry to hear that, Sav. And thank you for the massive donation. And a massive 50. sorry to jump in, coming in from Rocket Wolf, uh, which we can include with his donation. Says, unfortunately, I lost my mother to pancreatic cancer. Uh, every little bit towards cancer cure research is worth every cent uh, from Rocket Wolf there with a three thousand wow. pound donation. Thank you so that's much. I'm really sorry to hear about that, dude. Yeah, that's astronomical that donation. Yeah. Um, Tom and Anne 
That's Tom and Anne from, uh, is that from here? It is, yes, it's the guys here, yeah. Yeah, uh, with uh, 25 pounds, I see. I would say our most... Uh, our most uh, loyal merch representers yeah. at the RVP. Every week we see him walking past yeah. with the merch he's on. Here, he's here today. I, just see he has, I saw him earlier yeah. on. I can't see where he is now. But. Yeah. And he also donated the £50 of uh, Airline and Life vouchers to the charity as well. Um, with a £25 as well. Congratulations on uh, getting the Memorial Leaf. Awesome, Tom. And, and thank you so much, guys, for that. Uh, Ian Beddoes with a £50 saying uh, five years in the clear now after treatment Christie is a fabulous place everyone is so happy and positive uh, the food is good too not like other hospitals <laughs> well, I'm glad uh, things went well for you Ian and thank you for and, and little things like that can be so important as yeah. well because I think a lot and obviously I don't have any background in, in it but I certainly think a lot of um, treatment and a lot of the success from treatment comes from um, your mindset and mm -hmm. your positivity and your well-being and, yeah. well yeah. and things things as simple as getting a good meal something tasty that you've had after a long day of treatment yeah. is, is really really important mm. made me laugh before actually about you saying about the constructive criticism that my dad used to give he used to do the same thing with the catering staff at Christie's <laughs> 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 which uh, I mean to be fair in the end they were pretty grateful for that they used to come in and say oh, and how was your meal Peter so, so, any feedback you <laughs> like they, they give him his meal yeah, and they're all just looking around the corner. Yeah, no, they used to send the chef in to chat to him yeah. and just sort of like, any any ideas or anything? And of course, he'd uh, willingly oblige. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so there you go. He was a man of good taste then. He was, yeah, literally. he was. And uh, on the odd occasion, he used to send me out to, uh, to the fish and chip shop down the road to smuggle in some fish and chips. Yeah. Oh, good. For him. That's the way to do it. <laughs> so there we go. That's awesome. Um, Trisha Liverbird with the uh, or Liverbird uh, with the ten pounds saying great cause well done guys. Uh, Oliver Jackson with the ten pounds as well saying I'm so lucky to uh, have not been affected by it uh, so I have to give uh, to help people that have great job and keep up the hard work. Thank you Oliver. Appreciate Thank it. You, Noisy, that isn't it? It is very noisy. Noisy A321. That'll be heading back to Dalaman, I'm sure. Let's have a double check. Yep, heading back to Dalaman and Turkish Airlines. Eric Fisher with a £25 saying great channel and great fundraising events. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Uh, Mark Oxley and uh, Jenny, how do you pronounce that name? Uh, Yildizan, I think. Yildizan, wow, that's actually very well done. Uh, with a £10 saying just a small donation uh, for a great cause thank you for the great stream thank you guys appreciate it Mark Hall there he is with a £25 saying haven't been able to watch for a while due to other commitments but you guys always do amazingly well with your charity stream uh, great work as always guys you have the best aviation community thank you Mark appreciate it I, I, would, that, uh, I would definitely agree with that I, I agree with that too um, then there's an anonymous £50 going in as well with no message thank you very much um, Upper Mill Will with a £20 as well with no message, thank you. Uh, Lisa Nelson with a £30 saying, Christie's have looked after my dad over the years. So grateful for all their, their work. Happy to contribute. Uh, Norman Reed with a £20 saying, love the stream, love what you're doing today. Keep up the good work, everyone. Cheers, Norman. Appreciate Cheers, it. Cheers, man. Um, Gary Evans with a five Australian dollars saying, hello from Australia. You guys, you guys do so good in aviation. Such a great cause. Thank you. And then another Gary as well uh, saying, uh, lost my mum to cancer. Uh, thanks for arranging the fundraiser. And well done to everyone for smashing the target with a five pounds. Sorry to hear that, Gary. But thank you so much for your donation, mate. Yeah, cheers. Tracy and Phil with a £10 saying just a little top-up. Great community. Amazing job, everyone. Cheers, guys. Is that Tracy and Phil who uh, gave me the donation on my birthday? Was it uh, <laughs> of the... Uh, the May well be. The cakes. <laughs> uh, Keith Pearson with a £30 saying being involved with the Christie uh, through family members. Thank you, Keith. Um, Jason with a £5 with no message. Sue Cole with a £30 saying thank you to everyone in joining together to help raise money for such a brilliant cause. I love watching your shows and thanks for all the effort you put in. Uh, the shows are always brilliant. Thank you, Sue. Cheers, Thank you very much. Philip Birchall with uh, £20 saying in memory of my mum, Margaret, who loved the Christie for the care they gave her. Great show, guys, and thank you uh, so much. Cheers, Philip. Alice Rogers putting in another £10 saying, keep going, everyone. This total is amazing. I agree. 
Oh, let's have a listen to this. Rolling out. An Airbus A330 with Jet 2. This is in from Palma de Mallorca, I believe. Let's have a double check. Yes. Operated by Air Tanker. Moving on, we have Daryl Slynn now with a uh, 30 pounds. Same for the Pingu of the Skies. <laughs> Thank you, Daryl. Appreciate it. Adrian O'Rourke, and uh, also known as uh, Aiden. Sorry, Aiden O'Rourke, uh, also known as Aiden Eyewitness, with a 25 pounds. Say my dad was treated at the Christie many years ago, and they cured him. Uh, thanks for giving us the opportunity to support the Christie. I was, uh, sorry, I was just giggling at a message that came in from my dad that says, are there any jenny, jelly beans left for Sophie to try? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's not that's interesting. I don't, well, we'll tell you about that yeah, after we'll this, about but that. I think you'll be glad that I have not got that them with me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aidan, for yeah, your donation. We'll tell you about that in a moment. Okay. Um, uh, Bill Cahoey with uh, £20 saying, uh, nev you never know what any... Uh, you never know when any of us watching might need the Christie. Keep up the good work. That's very true, Bill. I appreciate the, the, the donation. Anonymous with a £25. Thank you, whoever that is. Trevor Roberts with a £10. Simon Richardson with a £10 saying, keep it going. Um, very worthy cause. My wife, Naomi, donated earlier, and I can confirm that... Um, I do hog the, the big TV up to watch you guys every oh, Sunday. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Sorry, Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> Paul West with a £10. Sue Slack with a £25. Anonymous, £30. Jim C with a £10 saying, just to top up from my earlier donations, I've said before I've lost my mum to pancreatic cancer back in uh, 2019. A great cause. Well done to all those who have supported the cause. Thank you, Jim C, for the another donation. Um, Larry Brown there with a £30 saying hello from Baltimore, Maryland, USA. Thank you, Larry. Appreciate it with £30. Anonymous with a £25 again. Tony P with a big donation, a mega donation of £50 saying listening to the stories about Peter is really heartwarming. My mum and partner have both, both had successful uh, cancer treatments by the Christie and I can't tell you how happy I am to support them. Amazing. There's so many good positive messages coming out regarding the Christie. Well, she came with a uh, two pounds. Uh, Lee Davies with a five pound, saying just a small donation. Uh, all helps. Uh, I love this community, Martin and Andy. The work you do over the years is awesome. Be proud of what you've done over the years. Thank you, Lee. Appreciate it. Cheers for the uh, support. Reese uh, Albridge with the uh, with the five pounds. So you love the videos. Keep it up. Thank you, mate. Barry Stevens with a hundred pounds, saying great cause, great stream. Best wishes to Sophie and the family. Thank you. And then another hundred coming from Steve Barnes, uh, saying in memory of Zuni. All Thank right. you very much, guys. Thank you. A hundred pounds. Wow. Good friend uh, Joanne Mason with a five pound saying Nick Story from uh, Plainbase has just emailed all the subscribers with a link to the live stream and donation page asking uh, for those who can donate a nice gesture. Thank you, That's Joanne. That's awesome. Yeah, big wow. shout out to the guys at Plainbase. Thank yeah. you very much, everyone. Uh, Jerry Coombs with the uh, £10 thank you uh, Noreen Williams with a £10 as well saying keep up the good work Ben and Loz with a £5 saying great job on the fundraising Zaki with a £50 saying uh, good luck and well done for doing this Amy Rose Artist with the unknown donation but saying amazing work everyone Delta Phil with a £20 with no message. Jürgen Lang with a £10 saying great streams and a great thing you do here. Proud to be a wee, wee, wee a part of it. <laughs> hey, no worries. Though. Thank you so much. Kem VP with a £10 saying great work, great response. Anonymous £10. Nick B with a £10. And then Lindsay Dickinson with the £10 saying can't wait to see Baldy Martin and Andy. <laughs> Lol. On a serious note, well done everyone. Absolutely smashed it. Just as most people, cancer has taken the lives of some of the nearest and dearest. Of course, and we had an anonymous donation and uh, coming in, um, followed by another anonymous ten pound donation as well. Putting the current total um, with the awesome donation from Rocket Wolf to fifteen thousand three hundred and forty pounds raised. <laughs> That is insane. That's more than double what we had last year. <laughs> last year we raised uh, seven and a half with yeah. gift aid. 
with gift aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Thank you, you guys so incredible. much, everybody. Wow. Well, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I can't. You can only say thank you so much. Yeah. I know. It's, like, it's just crazy. <laughs> There's more to read out as well. Um, we've got a louder coming in. A louder. Should we have a look at some planes for a minute? Yeah, we'll take a, take a breather. This is coming in from Zagreb. Uh, Ryanair flight 5872. But that's not a Ryanair. What's going on? It's a Ryanair subsidiary. So people on board this, the cabin crew will be all in Ryanair uniforms. I don't know if they have Ryanair interiors on these, but they certainly uh, are Ryanair flights. So these people would have bought a Ryanair flight from Zagreb to Manchester. I want to, uh, as soon as we're done today, just get Matt and yourself and me and Andy and the team just in front of the box, yeah, yeah, grab a picture. We've, got, we've been sent some uh, merchandise as well from the Christians down there. Maybe. We've got some banners and things, we'll hold them up. All right. Yeah. A few bits and bobs will well, maybe a wet team picture, but I know yeah. the rain's just started. It here, is what hasn't it is, it? yeah. And you can feel free to take anything you want. They've got some like badges in there and oh, things, right, so super. yeah, thank you. Well, I got my t shirt through yesterday, so yeah. that came just in time for me to wear it. Today, awesome, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, they were very supportive, and I felt not bad, but it was like we didn't really need much support to be because we were just well on the way. And well, that was they, the were thing, very, yeah. they were very offering of do you want to come in, do you want to record, and we were like. You know what? We don't need it. Like you know, <laughs> we're, we're doing really good as it is. And yeah. they, they were lovely in sending loads of merchandise out as well, which is great. So we'll definitely show you guys what they sent. Maybe before the end of the show, we can get the big cam on. We can just show off the banners and things. Uh, a great organisation, the Christie. Yeah. Like obviously hearing about Peter, but also uh, people in the donations in the chats just mentioned. Just super helpful, weren't they? Yeah. As well. Yep. Getting things working behind the scenes. Gosh, guys, there's another half a page of donations to read yeah. out as well. I, I think Sophie needs to read a couple. I think of so. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we just give you a break? <laughs> yeah, but we've also got this Virgin Atlantic going out. It's heading off to New York. Looks like we're on dual runway ops now as well. It is past one o'clock. Yes. Um, so uh, I, I don't know what I'm saying, guys. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm, uh, it's a bit of a day now. I'm doing. I'm actually doing my best to present, and I don't know what to say. I know. I feel that I'm supposed to be taking my son to the circus this afternoon. I just Gosh, you had completely you had like, enough chaos Whoa! already. Today. <laughs> the circus one seemed nice has and chill. Happened? Yeah. Uh, right. So let's have a look. So we got. Where did I get up to? Let's just see if we can find where I oh, left that's off. That's nice. And Jen just sent in an email through for some. From some family friends, okay. uh, so Shauna and John Christie. Um, our friends from up in Scotland, where we go and stay, yeah. uh, have sent an email just saying, well done, Martin, for a great cause to um, Will add to his kitty from uh, Shauna and John Christie. I don't, I don't know how to, how to explain this to people. Like, we, we had, <laughs> like, what was it, like 7,000 going into today's show? Yeah. And oh we're now gosh. on, well, I, I guess in 15. You know, 15. Unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable. So on the donations page, Andy G has given a donation of £30. Thank you. Ian UTB, great cause. Well done to all involved with a £5 donation. Thank you so much. David Wells with £25. Heather Ferguson with a £10 donation. Thank you. Shirley Parks has great work with a £10 donation. Wayne Picton um, with an unknown amount. Airliners live fight against cancer. Well done, guys. Cheers, Wayne. Alan Bath. Christy treated me for pros prostate cancer six years ago. Thanks to them. I'm still here to watch my grandchildren grow up. Not enough words to thank them for all they do. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so pleased that you're doing well, Alan. £30 donation. Thank you. Alison Bowers with a 20, is that Canadian dollars? I think it is, yeah. Yep. Thank you so much. Uh, an anonymous donation without words, without money. Who it's, knows? It's who a mystery. knows what Thank it is. Thank you for <laughs> whoever that is, for however much. <laughs> um, great cause. I lost my mum to cancer five years ago, just 10 months after she was diagnosed. So sorry to hear that. Thank you, Andrew Foster, for that £5 donation. Um, Colin Howard, Martin and Andy, awesome stream as usual. Congratulations on a massive achievement for this year's charity with a £10 donation. Thank you. Brian Wake, a small donation in memory of my mum, stepmom and father-in-law who all died of cancer. Gosh, sorry to hear that, Brian. Thank you for all your effort, guys, with a £20 donation. Wow, that's huge, Brian. Thank you. Yep. And uh, really sorry to hear that, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, though. Um, Thank you, everyone. I and Joe East with a £10 donation saying thanks for the terrific shows that you broadcast. A fantastic job is done by all of you, and we watch every week. Let's grab the 3 30 and then a couple more. Thank 
Awesome sound. That's probably one of the best sounds I've heard from a 330. Uh, Kenneth Higgins, thank you for the £25 donation. So my daughter is now five years in the clear, uh, was treated at the Beatson in Glasgow. Um, but, but regardless of where we are in the country, the help and support from the special hospitals like the Christie is needed. Absolutely, Kenneth, and I'm really glad to hear that your daughter's doing well, mate. And um, as we say, the, the vital research that the Christie do is, is surely going to help everyone all over the country as well. And Rebecca J, thank you so much for your £15 donation, saying keep up the great work. Lost my mum in June and was treated by the Christie's. I'm really sorry to hear that, Rebecca, and thank you so much for your donation um, and uh, thanks for supporting the charity today. Uh, Jason Hill with a £25 donation still rolling in guys, crazy Jeez. and an anonymous £20 donation. We have now been supported by 473 wow. supporters guys. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of you and we're now at 207% on the fundraiser. Um, it goes up every time, doesn't it? Every <laughs> time. It's just constant. Uh, we are now into the final 20 minutes of the show, guys, and what a show it's been. It's been truly historic on the channel. It really has. It's broken so many records. That's Yeah. And um, thank you so much to everyone who's yeah. been in the chat and got involved as well. And thank you, Sophie, for joining us today as well. It's been oh, awesome. Thank you so much yeah. for having me. It's been uh, it's been really really nice actually to uh, to come along and try and share a bit of my dad's story and yeah. just how much you know the Christie have, have done yeah. for us as a as a family and everything as well. It's uh, it's an incredible place. I was really really pleased to be able to sort of give them a bit of a helping hand in terms of fundraising and things like that so thank you yeah amazing we have you. had a message come in as well can we get some wave emotes in the chat guys we'll give her a wave from the studio Debbie Riley has just tuned in <laughs> Hi, she's uh, not in the UK at the moment I believe she's no, away she's with not. work yeah um, she's, well, she's tuning in she says thanks to everyone yeah uh, that's my, well. uh, my dad's business partner and uh yep and can we also get some uh, airlines live hearts in the chat as well for Sophie coming on today yes. donating her time to appear on the stream today tell amazing stories and a real natural as well on the, on oh, the mic as well you. to get well, you on again at some yeah. point <laughs> <That's it>. <laughs> <Learned> <laughs> borrow that book off your, <laughs> off your son I've learned from the best I guess my dad was very much one for public speaking wasn't mm, he yeah, so uh, definitely was. <laughs> I had to do my bit I suppose <laughs> yeah it's been amazing it's just uh, the, the turnout today on today's show has been fantastic and it the really donations has. has been even more mind blowing yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be take a while to come down from this one, I think. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Back to kind of normal this week on Airliners Live as well. Obviously, the fundraiser will still be open till a week tomorrow. But uh, with all the sort of going crazy on streams and really pushing it, uh, we'll end after today's show. So uh, we'll leave it open for a bit longer. They yep. can still share the fundraiser around and get some, some pennies in there as well. But Normal shows will resume as well next week. We've got John Fezzer kicking us off on the Monday Flight Sim show. Um, not spoke to Henry yet, so he may do a bonus on Tuesday. We're not sure. We will see. Um, and we'll have the midweek show on the Wednesday, followed by Henry's um, Vancouver show. Now, going back to the midweek show, do not forget that um it will now it has now moved to the morning guys yes. so the midweek show on wednesdays will now go live at um 10 a.m so make sure you tune in for that 10 a.m on wednesdays is the midweek show schedule now that the rvp has changed their hours um so don't forget about that on wednesday um thursday is henry's vancouver show and um, so he'll be back and um then the weekend show um i will not be here it will be andy and a another who will be looking after the weekend show because i'm away with mrs airliners live 10 years apparently we've been together on the weekend oh, yeah. so we are going away for a couple of days so andy will be hosting the show with someone special we will see i don't yeah. know who yet. yeah amazing now you said out. apparently, but of course you knew that, didn't you? And I'm sure I, you've got I, something lovely. I'm, I'm sure. I, I'm sure I do. Yeah, I'm and, uh, very quickly running up and down Tesco's <laughs> gift aisle as we now. Now we've, now we've, we've uh, booked a nice couple of days away. Oh, so. lovely! How's the weather looking? Because uh, um, it's looking okay. So Friday and Saturday, I think, is going to be dry. We're both kind of happy as long as it's just dry. We're not bothered about it being super, super sunny. Um, but yes, uh, and then I think on the Sunday it's going to rain, but. That's fine because uh, the the house is quite nice, so we'll just chill and 
eat food and <laughs> <laughs> get Sophie back for next weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're free. So yeah. <laughs> Can I jump on the camera next time? <laughs> uh, both Fezza and your dad both put in poor Jen in the comments. <laughs> Listen, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Jen deserves a medal. Gosh. <laughs> Sorry, saying you need your hair cut for the holiday? No. <laughs> I'm not Did you get your hair cut the other day? You didn't, no. You, you, you it's still as long as anything. Well, that's why you need um, a good pair of clippers. I know. You, I, yeah, I actually left, do have a good you? pair of clippers. You might as well just <laughs> wait at this point. I'm going to wait till when, when we've got back. <laughs> yeah, because then you say your barber's is just always dead full these days. Yeah, every time I go past, he's got one in the chair and three waiting. Well, oh, like no. I said, the offer's there. I've got the equipment at home. <laughs> say the word. <laughs> That's it. I can't promise what the uh, the end result will be, mind. I mean, like I said, I did a good job of my dad's hair. My son's hair was another matter. He uh, yeah, I'm not sure about turning great, up to, to a, rent, a rented home looking for a key <laughs> with a ball. That's trying to look like I'm robbing the job. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, you know that money you've put aside for that haircut, you know, and we put go. that in the in the charity. Yeah. Yeah. You go. And then you've got, a, you've got a free haircut waiting. Quality. <laughs> can't wait. Are we, do, are we doing it in the office? Are we going to like set up a live camera? I, think, in I the think we'll do something like that, yeah. Because I've got the proper wild clippers. Okay. I bought them on the first lockdown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Plug in ones that, when they click when you turn them on. Nice. Yeah. Proper ones, <laughs> mate. We're going to live go. stream and you'll all learn, you'll all figure out in real time how much we don't suit. <laughs> At heads. least you've got the caps. I must it, admit, yeah. like yeah, I say, in the first back. lockdown, I quite liked it. And I did it good the first time, but every time after that, I didn't like it. So I can't remember what I did the first time round. I, I just hacked away at my hair to try and get it as short as possible. That's what I did the first I time. I don't think there's anybody that didn't do a DIY hair yeah, during there COVID, some, is there? Some yeah. shocking ones out there, wasn't there? There was, wasn't there? <laughs> Some people like going really, like really full depth, like watching tutorials and stuff, trying to get it. And then you yeah. just see they've been chopping. For at me, it. I just got some scissors and went chop, 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 chop. And can we get some airliners live clippers pin badges? I think we may be, oh, no. maybe nearly there, eh? Right? Yeah. Because um, the thing is, in lockdown, I didn't, I don't know about you, but I wasn't too fussed about how I looked because I wasn't going out anyway. Yeah. So if it looked ridiculous, then. Who cares? Like <laughs> everyone on the one hour of exercise nodding at each other with dodgy <laughs> I had a baby during lockdown, so that was a whole different experience. Oh, wow, okay. yeah. That really was. During the, the, the first one? Lockdown or? one, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, that was wild. Yeah. Wow. I think uh, Sam, so they must they must be two years old now, are they? She's yeah, she's two, two yeah. and a half two and a bit, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, my partner one at the end of May. My partner had hers in the first lockdown as yeah. well. Yeah. So I don't know, like that's just wild to me. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Because me and Jen were talking about this yesterday because I can't remember we were watching something where they spoke about it and it was like, Can you remember that when we were only allowed out for yeah. an hour every day? Yeah. We went for a one me and Jen just used to do a wander around the block mm. and just mm. stay in. And I, I legit thought I was gonna be really anxious through it all. But for me and Jen, we, we just sat watching films, series, mm, everything, yeah. and it wasn't yeah. anywhere near as bad as we thought it was going to be. I'd like to say it was the same thing here, but I did have to try and homeschool my then five-year-old with a newborn baby. Oh, <laughs> that wow. was a somewhat different yeah, experience. Yeah, definitely a different experience. And obviously, you know, my uh, my dad and everybody was shielding and things, so we decided to shield as well. So we had our, our shopping delivered to our doorstep, mm. and, you know, my dad met my little one through the, the bedroom window, oh, and it was, it was a whole... Looking back on it now, you just think, wow, what on earth was that? <laughs> it's just, just crazy, isn't it? Mental. But I know a lot of people were, were by themselves and things, mm. and, and obviously we um, we ran the quizzes and stuff to keep everybody oh. entertained. We did run the quizzes, actually, at home. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. we did. Yeah, I think yeah, I remember did. that now, actually. Yeah, yeah I think I remember yeah, your name in it now. Yeah, with my dad, yeah. Yeah, I think it was near Christmas. I want to say Christmas. Was yeah, Christmas? lockdown Did you do quizzes. One near Christmas? They, they ended up not even being aviation related. They, we no. started them aviation and then they just became general knowledge. That's probably why I did well. And my yeah. dad was like, I don't know any of this stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. bring on the aviation questions. Yeah, <laughs> we tried to make it quite easy because I don't know about you, have you ever done a pub quiz? But some of the questions could be so hard and like obscure. Yeah. And it's like, it's not fun when you don't know the, yeah. like, you can't engage with it. you got people using Google underneath the tables. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we used to try and make it quite easy and even still people would be like oh it's too hard for me how was worse to do that <laughs> <laughs> and you did your um, geo guesser oh as well didn't gosh. you remember that when you well, well she in the chat there he is there he's, he's put it already the dreaded geo guesser yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we'll do the quizzes again but geo guesser was fun but I was awful at it but that made it 
Oh, Hilarious. Is what it is, isn't it? it is what that it time is. when I was in a, in a, where was I in Italy? Uh, Sicily somewhere on, a, on an airport. It was a guess the airport quiz. So it dropped you inside a terminal building of an airport and you had to guess what airport you're in. Oh, right. You think that'd be dead easy because it'd just be like, welcome to LAX or something. But no, it was <laughs> Not quite as obvious. Yeah, because they're always obscure airports. Like, where the heck is that? Jen just put a thing in the chat going, why is the chat talking about me and Martin having babies all of a sudden? <laughs> Sorry, that was probably my fault for breaking that up. <laughs> I apologise. Give him a nudge. Bit of a nose down as, uh, pitch on this. There is. There's a triple seven following it. I think that may be an awesome <laughs> aircraft to wrap the charity show on yeah. for 2022, Jenna, guys. Could you grab that bag from that yeah. white bag if you could? The white please. one? Yeah. Uh, we'll just get the bag, I guess. Yes, please. No, no, no. Oh, the, wait, one no, on no. The, the one on the top. That's oh, it's there. One. Sorry, yeah. I'm being dumb. Yeah, sorry. So there is a triple seven next to land after this biz jet, guys, and we're going to wrap up the charity show there because we want to grab pictures and get the team together. And Matt's been up on the camera the whole stream as well. Get the guy a brew. Um, but we'll yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, massive treat thanks, Matt, I think, to yeah, some lunch and yeah. And thanks drink. to everyone who's who's been involved today. It's uh, been absolutely incredible. It really has. I'm going to wear one as well. Mm, why not? We were trying these on in the office, weren't we? Who was? We putting this on, are we? Go on. What's this? Get a red. Oh, yeah, a nice red one goes with a logo. It does actually go with a logo, yeah. Oh, I'm making a mess of this now. <laughs> I am, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out I, how to I wasn't start. in the beauty pageant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, neither, funnily enough. Mm-hmm. Right. So, I will just. Uh, we'll just Who would have we'll thought just, it'd be so difficult, hey? I'll leave you guys to enjoy this uh, <laughs> arrival. Can this be done in a way where it doesn't cover the badge on my t shirt? I don't think it can. It'd have to be the other way, wouldn't it? Yeah. But then the text is the wrong way around. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Bosh. I just want it for the outro. And then we've got this banner as well. I'll uh, pull that out. Right, we've got a um, Qatar 777 coming in. That's one big That's banner. That's the, big banner, the isn't it? That's the biggest banner I've ever seen. <laughs> right, there we go. Yeah, we'll just get, like, part of it. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. Right, we'll, we'll reveal it once. Uh, we'll reveal what we're doing, ladies and gents, when this triples out of the way. And huge shout out to Matt Smith once again for uh, just bossing the camera today, doing a fantastic job. Yeah. Um, really, really, really good. Like, just on par with, with what we usually have. What's this? It's a real bag of goodies in there, isn't I know. it? That's a money box, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, that would make sense. That's useful to have, isn't it? And there's some badges in there as well. We'll have to dig them out later. Oh, there's blue ones as well. Oof. Oh, are these for the... I was going to say for the blokes, but it's more red, isn't it? No, I'm feeling the red, man. Yeah, I'm I like the red. I think the red's nice. I got both, I suppose. T-shirts, blue. Yeah, there you go. Rocking red. it. Bit of contrast. And here it is. The Qatar triple seven. Just rolling out on two, three, right. Amazing to see the triple seven here at Manchester Qatar doing multiple services every single day here in Manchester. They obviously take a lot of freight as well with their journeys to make it worth their while. But uh, it is such a big operator here at Manchester, probably the biggest, especially when it comes to the Middle East. Uh, good news with um, Emirates going back to pre-pandemic uh, levels here at Manchester Airport in terms of the services they offer uh, from the 28th of October. They'll be up to three a380s per day here at manchester three so they'll be reinstating the the morning service which i think comes in about 7 a.m leaves about 9 a.m and i'm so excited to see that especially in the winter you know sunrise yeah we'll be over at south side catching a golden uh, aircraft arriving and departing so i'm super excited to see that as well awesome shot there the triple is it uh taxis in and a lot of love coming through in the chat uh, for Matt as well doing a great job on the camera he's got some 10 out of 10s in the chat from Maddie Boy Smith yeah like I said uh, having Matt up on the camera today has allowed me and Martin to because we're kind of separated in terms of like sound and, and visuals and scene switching and keeping especially keeping up with the donations yeah no, uh, it's really helped we a needed this, uh, a hand so it's helped massively and I guess we we'll need to read the total out as well. Uh, we'll do that all together, I think. Yeah, 
Awesome shot. Triple just filling the screen. So it taxis right past the commentary position here at the RVP. A massive shout out to the Aviation Society um, for this streaming location. Make sure you check them out uh, on their website and on their Facebook page. Get involved if you can with that. And a huge thanks to all our mods working behind the scenes today, keeping the show and the totals rolling. Thank you to everyone tuning in on Twitch and YouTube as well. Appreciate all of you guys tuning in week after week. It's gone so fast, this, this show today. It has. Really, really fast. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there it is as it taxis past. And... Uh, Hey, you got the banners well, going. Hey, oh, oh, what? My mind got two. What? Why well, you got two? What's going on? You need to put your arm through. You haven't put your arm through. Oh, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, there we go. All right, cooking on gas. Looking good. Get it for the old, the old thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screenshots. There we go. You got the end. There we are. Hold on. We'll get a photo after we're done as well of like the whole thing. All right, here we go. Thumbnail time. So we all need to smile at the camera. Here we're, we go. And there we go, we've got the it. The total we raised, ladies and gents, at this present moment on, well, just on just giving, is at 12,575. 601. Oh, it's oh, gone up it's a little bit. Oh, it's refreshed again. <laughs> I refreshed it just a couple of seconds ago, it's gone up even more. So, 12,601 plus a donation from Rocket Wolf on Twitch with the uh, £3,000 and then plus gift aid as well and then plus Sophie Swanderazer which started it all with the roughly 5000 and then the Aviation Society as well with 2000 as well yeah unbelievable so, what a day guys oh my word every year you blow it out of the park uh, thank you so much for all of the community getting behind the fundraiser helping the fundraiser for something personal to us this year um, and we have achieved um, and helped to achieve the permanent memorial for Peter at the Christie which was uh, fantastic and it's something we really really wanted to get done today and you guys have just absolutely blown it out of the park thank you so so much and I've said it before and I'll say it again it means the world to us so thank you so much to every single person um, that's donated however big or small it's uh, it's absolutely incredible and it's going to go to so much good it certainly is uh, Sophie thanks so much for coming thank on the show thank you for having me it's been fantastic so everyone in the chat watching on Twitch YouTube we've been Airliners Live you've been watching the Airliners Live 2022 charity fundraiser and you've also been awesome take care guys we did we'll it we'll see you next week well done everyone we smashed Great it job. well done guys see you next time <laughs> No guarantee, no.